Welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. We're back. Oh, I didn't know if we were going to have a show today. Hmm. Um, because on Saturday, we had the most epic show ever. <laughs> It was a lot of work, and yeah. we moved all this equipment. Downstairs went upstairs. Upstairs, yeah. You're very shadowed. Um, Me? That's, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's the microphone. I'm also too far over because there's a fluffy gray cat right oh, here. Oh, that might be it. <laughs> yeah, we had Atari Age Day yeah. on Saturday, yes. which uh, we broadcasted for nine hours and talked to, like, a dozen people or mm. more mm. Um, over chat over video chat about all their new releases um, through Atari age mm -hmm. and you played a ton of games oh so many games it was <laughs> so much fun is that a lot of fun oh yeah yeah <laughs> and I talked to all the developers um, and a lot of people I've never talked to before yeah, 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 uh, yeah. in in person in person I yeah. mean I've, I've typed with everyone chatted and yeah yeah over many many years yeah. but um that was uh really a cool. lot of fun yeah. um but yes uh very exhausting <laughs> <laughs> and i was going to cancel today oh the synchronization is off because i am tired <laughs> and the sync will be on should be back to normal there we go mm. I'm just dubbed in a different language. I'm speaking a different <laughs> language and somebody's dubbing. I'm dubbing myself. There we go. Yeah. Should be good. Yeah. Give a thumbs up if it is. Yeah. Um, uh, today, mm. we have four games. Mm. Nope, still off. What? Lies. Lies. <laughs> oh, this is no. the problem when you tear everything down and build it back up. Um, everything gets reset. Yeah, one second. Still off. One second. What's happening? Check, check, check. Why is everything off? You guys can still hear me. <laughs> um. Hmm. Cats in sync? Well, that's good. <laughs> that is good, the cats in sync. Um, I had to do, reset everything up again. Yeah. So. Oh, Game I, over. I, didn't, I did not test the sync because I didn't think uh, it, it would change anything. Again? Yeah. That's going to be really annoying. Are you going to have to, do you want to restart? Almost, because I don't want to have everything off. Let me try something. <laughs> this might work. Okay, check, check, check. OCD is getting triggered in James. Yeah. Yes, it is, because uh, I'm not going to have a two or three hour broadcast with everything is off. That's terrible terrible i just i just changed something uh the microphone delay so uh still off well that's wonderful let me check worse it's worse well that's something it seems uh, off by least, well over a second at least way it, off yes worse so it must have been better before yeah um let's see if it's better now check 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 Oh, it's off. <laughs> oh, it's off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doing this live, live synchronization. Oh, I don't need to hear myself until I do. It's like watching a foreign language film. Yes, <laughs> you need subtitles. <laughs> Added a couple more. That's oh, that better. looks better. Okay, that's doable. Uh, how's that? <laughs> hey, Yay, leave fixed. it alone. Good, good. I'll, I'll test that next uh, before next episode and figure that out. Uh, yeah. Settings are changed. I don't know. It, things have been rewired well, a little bit. All your computer, everything got moved upstairs and moved back down. Yeah. So it's not surprising that 
a couple of things are going to be a little off. Okay. <laughs> On with the show. All right. Where were we? Yes. We were talking about the games that we're playing today. Yes. 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 Uh, yes. Let me get back to my notes. Yes. Did you say hello and hi to the subscribers? I didn't. We do that just after this. Okay. Um, we're going to be playing uh, the exclusive uh, world premiere of Cave Apocalypse. Ooh. Which has not exciting. even been announced yet. Yeah. Um, we're also going to play through Panic Room. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Because I didn't get to touch it. And no. you did play it. A little bit. And it's a game that has not been released. Like, it's it's brand new. Mm. So I'm very good to try it. They've... They have not released like work in progress mm. versions of it or anything like that. So mm. I'm really excited to try it out for the first time ever. Um, we're also going to be playing a brand new uh, homebrew best friends that was posted recently on the forums. Uh, and we're also going to be playing through level two of Deep Stone Catacomb, mm. um, the retail version, which nice. I'm excited for. Nice. Uh, it's drifting again. Okay. <laughs> how does it do that yeah. um let it be for a few minutes and see if you're uh, see if uh that's ridiculous um why would it be drifting let's see check check not as bad as it was check 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 oh it's fine it's fine it's perfectly fine <laughs> <laughs> it's fine it's good enough um maybe i can set it back to the original thing it was and it'll be absolutely perfect let's try that hmm? maybe my uh computer's like getting getting back into the groove of it uh no it's worse yeah. what i had it set was perfectly fine i think you're uh, lying lying <laughs> Oh, trying to make me paranoid. It's fine. It's totally fine. Oh, you're crazy. Just a hair. Okay, it's like just, uh, just put up, just put up a game screen already. Okay, let's talk about the Twitch subscribers: Al Nefer, I'm Scar Coder, Atari Age, Buck Owens, Atari Age. Look at that. Atari Age subscribed. Nice. Uh, Buck Owens, Cafe Man 2D, Catalox, Coconut, Dianoid, Dan, ABC, Pat, Fat Beavis, Grey Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, Juan Urato, Jazani, Carl G. Malchitos, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Metal Lunar, two medals. Mike Soul, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarnawoop, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strom, Neo Media, Nintend K360, Pack Rat VG, Kohog, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Swix, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Snicklin, that's a new name, mm -hmm. Socrates, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The D Train, Welshman, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, maybe restart your stream crossbow, because I think everything is fine over here. Let's see. Uh, it's it's like that much off. Mm -hmm. It's like that much. I do uh, syncing audio for a living. <laughs> That's part of it. <laughs> um, so I can I can tell that it is it a is tiny bit a touch off, off. But yeah. Eh. Anyway, thank you for joining <laughs> us. Uh, RC70 Crossbow in the chat. Mike Soul, Al Nefer, uh, Dan AVC, Great Defender. I suppose to Major Havoc, Doctor mm -hmm. Moo Cows, Great Defender. Uh, Arc T V R V S. That's a lot of letters all in a row. <laughs> the Toko, uh, Doctor Moo Cows, Arms Car Coder, Coder, and everyone Excellent. else who's lurking. Yes, hello. Um, we have a box to unbox. Um, so how tired were you after Atari Age Day? Or were you like, mm. eh? I'm uh, just playing games. It's all good. I think. I'm trying to think. That was Saturday. <laughs> it's all a blur. It's all just a blur. I think we were both pretty exhausted oh. on Sunday. Like oh, just, yeah. Just like. Lounging around. Yeah. <laughs> I have all the stuff nothing. I need to do, but I, I really have no energy. So, yeah. yeah. It was quite tiring. The weekend was um, a write off after that. It's not as bad, though, as doing the homebrew awards because you're oh my standing God. the whole time. So, at least yeah. we had the two nice comfy chairs. So, I found it quite comfortable. So, that, that made it doable for the long stream. Yes. So but, um, 
I, I was tired. Yeah, I was tired afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't too bad. So this is from Super Rare Games. Nice. One of those places that release small games on um, physical, physical media. Physical media, yeah. Because a lot of these smaller games just get released digitally. Yes. And I don't buy digital because it goes away after a while. Um, this one is Unrailed, um, which mm. I saw somebody playing online and I was like, oh, that looks like a fun little game and it's a multiplayer. Oh, goodbye sticker. Um, so you, oh, you get little cards with it. And, and this is for modern consoles. This yeah, is for this the one's Switch. for the Switch. Yeah. Um, it's but I basically, like them. I'm yeah. sure everybody's played a game like this. It kind of stems from that pipe game where you fit the pipe pieces. Yeah. And the water is the flowing. The water flows through. From yeah. one side to the other. Yeah. Except this is a modern update of that game. Mm. And it's a train that needs to get from one station to the next. Mm. But it has a lot built on top of it. It has resources to bake the tracks. And you have to cool down the engine and get coal and set stuff like that. We watched someone streaming this game, I think, at yes. one point, just to check it out. It is. It yeah. looked really fun. And, and again, like a small, small little, yeah. small game that... Um, I really love, yeah, uh, Dr. Mukaz. I'm pretty impressed with Super Rare overall. Yeah, it's yeah. great that they do this. Yep. That they offer physical. And there's a versions. number of these types of places, limited runs, yes, Super limited Rare, run. and there's another yeah. one as well. Um, it's also like those food prep games. Oh, I love those. Where it's like, <laughs> oh, you got to put the stuff on the burger. You're running out of time. And you chop have to do the it lettuce quickly. and flip things over and uh, get it. Overcooked. Overcooked. overcooked yeah, I like yeah. overcooked. That, that's a pretty fun game. Cotton Reboot pre order. Oh, mm. yeah. Uh, Strictly did I limited. Buy that? I don't know. You bought. You I bought. swear I bought the Cotton Reboot. If I didn't, I was very silly. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, I do like uh, cotton and mm. it looks very good. Mm. Um. We didn't announce the poll results <laughs> last show. Yeah, yeah. We realized after the fact. Realized the poll was not up on the screen. And yes. usually it's on the screen. And you see that it's ended. And then at the that. end of the game, somebody has said, like, after we stopped broadcasting, hey, what about the poll results? <laughs> I'm like, oh, God. And I typed them out, but it didn't get recorded. No. Um, and the, uh, the question was, what was your uh, s next favorite console? from the second gen consoles mm. after Atari consoles. Um, and Vectrex won with 40%. Coleco, approximately 40. Uh, Coleco and a television tied with 25% each. And then Bally Astrocade with 10%. And there were some mm -hmm. other options. And those got zero. Absolutely zero. Mm. Um, so there you can kind of go look back at the other show. And then there's the results for it. Um, Brian Mathern's new book is out. Ooh, um, congrats, Brian. Yes, congrats. Yep. He's not here right now. He has Still, to work. he'll watch it later, I'm sure. <laughs> he will. Um, it is a little different than his other books. Okay. It's, this one is not, it is homebrew. Okay. But it's not detailing the games. What it is, is a full list of all the games. Um, um so let's take a look at that quickly. It's called the Atari 2600 Homebrew and Hacks Checklist Book. Mm. So if you've ever had, if you've ever collected for something and sometimes they have checklists, it's like, oh, I have this edition of it or I have this version or mm. I have whatever, this comic or um, baseball card and you can check off which ones you have and then you know which ones you don't have. This is for mm -hmm. a homebrew. Mm. It says and arena foot says my sixth book was just released yesterday is now available and this was on post on sunday so it's a couple of days now uh through amazon the atari 2600 homebrew and hacks checklist books are now available in full color or black and white the black and white is a little bit cheaper than mm. the color because that's how it is yeah um blah 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 this book covers all titles released on cartridge over the past 25 years because mm. he's the keeper of the list so this says every title that you can plug into an Atari 2600, homebrew, hack, whatever, it lists every single one of them. Hmm. Um, so good luck getting all of them though. <laughs> uh, uh, you'll find every title in a checklist form to keep track of your collection. Each title has pertinent information, so he's summed it up. Uh, programmer, publisher, original price, quantity made, which is important. It's like, oh, there's only 25 made of this one. You're not getting it if you don't already have it pro pretty much. Mm -hmm. 
Um, from the first homebrews, like Soundex, Edtris, Okie Dokie, Stella Sketch, Cubus, 20, Tetris 26. The latest and greatest. So this covers up to 2020. 2020. End of 2020. Nice. nice. And he plans to update this every year. Nice. So at the end of 2021, he'll tack that on. Mm. You'll be able to buy the new one or mm. download it and then print it out yourself, I guess, because mm. you can download it as PDF, I think. Nice. Um, uh, 150 pages of chronicling everything over the past 25 years. Uh, yeah, he plans to do an updated checklist book uh, every year by Christmas. Mm. So, hmm. If he's doing it by Christmas, he won't have it up to the end of 2021. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Maybe it's a Christmas after. That might make sense. Right? Because this one's 20... No, maybe he's not. I don't know. I don't know his plan. You'll have to ask him. Um, so there's the front of it. Uh, it's kind of like uh, you know, actual checklist. Um, kind of cool there. I like it. Uh, there's a black and white cover. Nice. Uh, there's kind of what it looks like. It's kind of oh. tiny. I don't know if I can get that a little bit better. Eh, not really. Um, so you can see there's a little checkbox mm. and the details, how much it uh, sold for. And he's got uh, pictures mm. of uh, some of them. See, there's uh, like seven there. And he's got pictures of five of them. So there you go. Very, and S. Ramirez nice. has bought Oh, he's filling his out. Yeah, Excellent. He's already got one. He's filling it out. So that's <laughs> very cool. Um, when he says he releases it every year, it reminds me a little bit of like the, the triple A, like, vacation guidebooks that you used to get <laughs> and when i was a kid yeah uh being a canadian yeah my parents we would jump in the car and we take road trips down south and i grew up out east so we would kind of hit the east east coast we'd go through maine and vermont and oh, new okay. hampshire and we'd drive okay, down the coast sometimes we'd go to boston my dad would always get because we were members of the caa which is the okay. canadian version my dad would get the vacation book Okay. And I would go through in every little town and motel we stayed in on the route. I'd be like going through, okay, what are the things to do, the vacation things? And we'd highlight where we would want to go. We'd never go Did to Did you give them. it a star rating afterward? No, we wouldn't do that. <laughs> we probably should. I, I thought you were going to no. say you are going to say I you love made those a, books, though. You made a checklist of all the states, license plates. No. Oh, no, no. Well, we would play the license plates. all game. the license plates and you'd fill them out as you would see them. We would that's do... That's a good... That's a good game for travel. We actually had like this thing that was um like road trip bingo where you would okay. you would like check off. I think it had one of those plastic sheets where you could circle things and then rip the pull it off and then right. it would it would clear itself. It's like a 70 mile an hour. But it would zone be like or... a foreign plate or you know like right. like something like that foreign yeah. to the state but I don't know what it is, but something about that it I, it just reminds me of like having the vacation books and like okay we're gonna go to we're gonna go to Florida and we're gonna go to Bush Gardens and then we're gonna do <laughs> we would <laughs> yes. go through as kids, but um, I digress I digress. <laughs> um, I like the checklist though. Good job, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, very cool idea, uh, yeah. Brian. Um, so uh, what was posted in the Atari Age forums recently was something very interesting. Um, Revenge posted on April 24th, I think that was Sunday, about a game called Block Drop. And I'll play this on the screen uh, while I talk about it, and you can just get an idea of what it's about. Um, there you go. Uh, heads up that some time ago I started a disassembly of Ken's 7800 Block Drop game with the intention of someday finishing it for him. While I made good, a good start of it, there's a fair bit of semantic info added, and it builds identically to Ken's last demo. There always seems to be more pressing hobby business, so it hasn't moved much lately. Mm -hmm. I decided to throw this open to anyone that's interested. Mm -hmm. If you can move the, the disassembly forward, feel free to do so, and add your name to the contributors at the top. Contributions can be made via pull request, or if you don't uh, do Git, just pass on your changed file. I can't promise any recompense for any work. If carts are someday produced, it's my intention to have the dev proceeds go to an appropriate charity. If there, if there are a lot of hands in this, it won't be possible to get carts to the contributors either, but adding your effort to the hobby would be, uh, to the project would be a nice way of honoring somebody who once added light to our hobby. Mm -hmm. So if you want to help out with um, 
you know, finishing off this game, uh, check it out in the forums. Looks beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it's a seventy-eight hundred game and looks mm. very, very, very accurate. I like the background. To yeah. a very familiar game. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it does. Um, so uh, yeah, go check that out if you have uh, any skill in um, uh, programming for the seventy-eight hundred. So the first game we're going to be playing is very, very interesting in the way it's being made. Mm. Uh, this is Cave Apocalypse, C.A.V.E.Apocalypse. Mm. And it's being made by uh, Wolfgang Stubig, uh, Alan the Fur. And it was, um, it's not, not been released yet. Okay. And it is kind of being released through the plus cart. It's at least using the environment of the plus cart mm. to be developed. Okay. Um, now, if you've ever um, seen some of those games where I think it's, it's getting more popular now, especially on the Switch, yeah. on Nintendo, where you can build your own levels for a game like um, Super Mario Maker. Um, there's a couple more as well. Um, so you can make the levels and then have other people play your levels. That's what kind of the basis is for this game. Um, so let's take a run through it. He said, um, after fumbling around for some weekends now with Omega Matrix he H E R O Heroes Disassembly to add level loading editing from an internet back end. I've decided yesterday to use the new use the back end for a new game, Cave Apocalypse. The game is a mix of Hero and Fort Apocalypse. Hmm. In the future, everyone can register his plus his plus card or his emulator his or her plus card his or her emulator account at the back end to build and edit their own levels. I want to reveal the project and source code on Atari Age forum to find some beta testers for this. Um, it's still a work in progress and a lot of things are still missing, but let's take a look at it first. Um, it is fairly, um, delicate, let's say mm -hmm. at this stage. Um, so it may crash. It may do some weird okay. things, but it's, it's work in progress. It's the work. It's, um, Oh, it's being naughty. A plus card. No, or the connection, the connection. Oh no. Because I've just set everything up again and something's a little wacky. Mm. So just bear with me. It's kind of shaky. Mm. So it is on the plus card, which I'm just going to redo it because it's fun <laughs> to see it boot up. So yeah, see that oh, yeah. shaky. I just, I just tried to plug everything in another circuit. And yeah. I thought that fixed it. No, and but it that's seemed not to it. Hmm. for a little bit. Let me see if I can do anything. Catch you, catch you. Magic Slate RC seventy. Yes, that's what those peel erase boards were. This was a little different. It was clear and it had something underneath it, if I recall. But the Magic Slates were the gray ones where you could draw on them, if I'm not mistaken. It was like gray and it was dark gray. Crossbow, are you still using component output from your 2600? I am. I am at the moment using component yeah. rather than RGB. Uh, and I switched to component because it had a cleaner signal at the, at the time. Mm. Um, right now, it does not. I've heard the plus card on RGB jitters like this, Crossbow says. Oh, well, not using RGB, so that's definitely not the issue at the moment if i turn off the camera it's perfect really yeah so now oh. you can see it's absolutely perfect it's some sort of interference weird um like it's crystal clear what if you move the camera no it's not uh, closeness it's the cords right i have plugged the camera into a different outlet i have plugged the usb weird. into a different usb in my computer okay um, so I don't know. We'll just have to live with it tonight. Yeah. Um, just know that it's my system. That's bizarre. Um, I don't know if it's going to be like this on... It seems even worse than when you first... <laughs> yeah, it's about the same. Ah, that's so weird. I'm just going to put on the harmony card for a second. Oh, it's jittery there, too. Ready. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Nightmare. Can you use it? You can't use it on the uh, 7800. Um. Ready. The plus cart? Yeah. Yeah. Would that be? Would that work better? Maybe. Give it a try. Adds re retro character to it. Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> jitter, jitter, jitter. Uh, yep. Let's try this out. Ooh, that looks better. Well, it's fuzzier but stabler. Okay. Is it? I, I think I would prefer it to be stable and fuzzy than, than shaking yes. all, the whole time. So let's switch over the joystick over there. So tonight we're using the 7800. That's all good. And by Friday, I will have solved this stupidity. <laughs> like, it really won't make any difference if we uh, watch it through the 7800. Your hair looked mega blue in the cat cam. <laughs> you were really oh, close to the blue screen. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Speaking of kitties, where are you? There's a kitty by the door. He's sleepy. Is he? He's sleeping. Oh, he's just hiding. He's just off camera. Okay, so do retry. And it should work. If this, there we go. Okay, if that this didn't is work, better. Yeah. Oh, uh, you can still see the sine waves. <laughs> That's okay. So go to ROM shared with me, and uh, then go to Cave Apocalypse, and the top one, NTSC, as you know by now, mm -hmm. NTSC land. Okay, this looks like Hero. Um, has similar colors. Um, so, some hints before you start playing so it doesn't crash. Okay. Um, don't leave the first room to the top. Don't go up. Go down. Mm. Um, don't exit a room too fast after entering it. So mm. don't go in and out of a room or it'll mm. have some trouble. Um, when the fuel runs out uh, on the game, it makes a short sound and then stops. Game over. You can go to the start screen with a reset button, mm. then press the joystick button to start the game again. Okay. okay. Um, so, press the button to start. There you go. Oh. Intuitive. <laughs> I'm drifting. Why am I drifting? Am I supposed to drift? You mean gravity? Yeah. Yeah, gravity exists. Yeah. Ah! Splash! Oh, no! Oh. No, you're safe. Um, ah. Ah. So, this level ah. oh. is... <laughs> Well, it did hurt you. Did it? Yeah. So don't shoot the tank below, he said as well. The tank? Well, you haven't seen it yet, but there's a tank. Don't do that! I didn't do it purposely! You're going up and down! I know, but there's gravity! Okay, luckily it didn't crash, so press a button. Oh, that's weird. So don't shoot that tank. No? No. Can I go above it, or no? Uh, yeah, you can go above it, you can go down, wherever there's an opening. Don't shoot Don't any. go in and out I of the room. No, I, I'm not doing it purposely. <laughs> Can I shoot this tank? Uh, I don't know which one he meant. There's two of them. And uh, in the in the game, um, those are guys you rescue. Oh. Um, you don't think it... Well, it makes sound, but... Um, you don't actually pick You don't one. ask your right. You need some fuel, so don't oh, do that. I'm not doing it purposely. Get fuel. There you go. Yay. <laughs> so I think there's another area to go to. Maybe not. I didn't go above that other tank. Okay, yeah, try there. There you go. So you can see the same level, but from a different perspective. Right? Gotcha. And that happens in um, cool. Hero cool. as well. So let's take a look at the back end of this. Mm -hmm and how that works. Uh, I'm just going to let you die off screen. That's fine. <laughs> so the concept of not shooting in stuff in Atari games frightens and confuses me. <laughs> yes, a pacifist game. Um, a pacifist game. It's got elements of Ford Apocalypse because it's got a helicopter. Mm -hmm. um, I've never played Ford Apocalypse, Yeah. Um, but I looked it up today and it's like oh okay you have to shoot your way through and go through mazes to collect those little dudes running across mm -hmm. and you have a, a certain number of them that you have to rescue in this big maze mm -hmm. um 
So let's take a look at the uh, level editor uh, for this, and it'll give you a bit more of an idea of what he is uh, going for here. Let me open that link up, and you'll be able to see the existing uh, maze right now. There we go. So, uh, Cave Apocalypse Map Editor. Um, level 1, Level 2. This is not active right now, mm. um, but eventually it will be. So you can see... You can create all kinds of levels. That's right. Oh, cool. Um, so you can see where you start. Yeah. And then you go through there. You shoot that. That one's a moving one. You can see it's red. Mm. Oh, it's actually pulsing when you put your mouse over it. Oh, it's pulsing all the time. Very, very cool. And that is a room. That whole area. Yeah. Then it goes over there. It doesn't show tanks or anything. No. I'm there. guessing eventually it will show some tanks because you'll be able to place different nice. things in different rooms. It uh, doesn't show the fuel yet. But then you'll be able to add your own rooms to it. I like that. Yeah. Room on the left, room on the right, room yeah. down. You can add uh, another row in the top. So you can expand the map out in cool. any direction. Yeah. And then make your own maps. And then share these maps uh, with somebody else with plus to play card. through the plus card nice um so you'll be essentially building levels and sharing them and people can like check them out and that's say so hey cool. you made a good level that's so and cool. maybe these level all the best levels can be compiled yeah into the actual game mm -hmm. and then it could be put on cartridge and then you have a ton of awesome levels that have been uh created from uh, the community. Uh, this is not available yet, but um, Alnifer is looking for beta testers. Mm. So if you do have a plus cart, um, definitely get in touch with him and uh, he will uh, maybe hook you up and mm. uh, get you trying it out. There you go. Alnifer is in the chat. I'll publish the nice. Atari basic code on GitHub and open an Atari aged thread tomorrow, but I'll move the ROMs to the plus store public area uh, during the show yes. and now what he is going to do he said he was going to do this is change the map and we'll play it again mm. actually he said he was going to change the map while we're playing um let's see what exactly he said here um okay so we're gonna do that right now let's switch back hopefully it's still alive Yep, still alive. Okay, don't do anything yet. Um, I've prepared some changes to the room on the bottom right. This looks like the second room. Can you fly now? No. Okay, we'll reset. I'm dead. <laughs> Supposedly. So we haven't... Oh. What's going on here? Right now, press the button. You're stuck in the wall. Press it. Try move, up, down, press button, all over the place. No, okay, we're gonna have to try to boot it from scratch. It's okay. It's okay. But this will still be a good demonstration. Yeah. Um, so he has changed the bottom right room. Um, so I'll try it now. There you go. It's probably when you where you ended up, and that's that's why it crashed. Out. No, come on, go to the go to the room. Which room am I going to? Oh no! You had that problem before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's Ramirez. We'll have a good night. Have a good night. Yes. So get up really three, early. <laughs> 3 a.m. Oh my god, that is early. Someone is working shifts. <laughs> yeah. Late shift. Very late or very early. The cave on walls will be deadly in the final version. Uh, oh, okay. okay. That's going to make it very tough to go down that small passage. <laughs> yes. You have to really uh, nail it. There we go. And that'll be deadly too. Right now, it doesn't do anything. No, you it goes. You go right through it. Yeah. Where am I going? Sorry. Oh, look at that! 
It's changed saying. colors. What has? Your helicopter. Oh! Didn't you notice that? Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Don't do that. So Don't. I can't shoot him. Uh, just go to the bottom right one. One more down. Oh, the tank's over there now instead of down there. Oh. So this is a demonstration of being able to update the maps in real time. The cave walls, this is a bug. Okay, so you need some fuel. Not that you're going to crash or die or anything in this. And... Yeah, so he's still working on it. It showed. Yeah, uh, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. So that is a really, really... Um, Oh, you can shoot. Yeah, you can shoot. The okay. Tanks. Okay. Yeah, good that's job. fine. It crashed. Um, we're we're good. Um, so yeah. that was a good demonstration yeah. of, uh, the maps mm. and the game and being able to update the game and then immediately playing it, mm -hmm. um, right away so that you can test your game, as you're making it. Mm. Um, so that's really really cool and a great use of the plus cart, tying into a back end, because. For people who don't know, the plus card is on the internet. Like this, this game has, was loaded off of the internet onto onto, onto the, cart. the cart. Yeah, and so, so that that version that we just played, you just downloaded. Yes. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. It That's is really cool. <laughs> yeah. And somehow I don't know how he's doing it, but it's actually constantly reading off the internet too really because he he's said up, he updated it or that he's able to update it wow and being able to you like you go down look at that screen mm. go up he can change it you go back down to that screen and it's different i i don't know how he does it <laughs> but uh, somehow you can do that yeah um uh, the beta testers i'll have to ask alan yeah um it's above my pay grade though <laughs> So thank you so much, Al, for uh, letting us check that out. Mm. It's really, really cool tech. And it shows what um, something like the plus cart can do. Um, when you leave the room, uh, the new room is requested from the server. Mm. Oh, okay. And that... He's a witch. Burn him! <laughs> Drown him! If he survives, he's a witch. Then yeah. we burn him. <laughs> If he floats, he's a duck, and then he's a witch. I forget what I forget how that works. But yeah, if he floats, he's a duck. Then he's a witch. If he drowns, he was he was he, he was, was not a witch. He was fine. And and he's not a witch. <laughs> and he's not a witch. But he's still dead. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, if he floats, <laughs> if he floats, it means he's a duck. That means you have to burn him. Yeah, <laughs> that's he's right. A witch. Burn him. One way or the other, you're dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's not a good way to test things. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're gonna move on to panic rooms uh very exciting i did not get a chance to play this so you, you get to start then you are going to be reading the manual okay i'm running up to get another glass of wine so of course you are i am that's okay. why okay one of one of, one of the reasons why i do this so <laughs> <laughs> one of the perks wine on a tuesday wine on a tuesday it's allowed right for yes, some reason exactly it's a pandemic it's, it's a pandemic we're suffering we must have some niceties in our life. So let's plug in Panic Rooms into the 7800, which we played all these games through the 7800 on Atari each day. So I will get to play this. I'm going to be playing it blind while uh, I wait for Tanya. Come back. Tuesday is the name of Tanya's new album. That's correct. <laughs> yep. Good music. It is. Don't get wine on it. Okay. Now I wasn't watching you play. No, you were, you were trying... chatting with McMuse, was it? Uh, no, he, that's the next game. Oh, okay. Uh, Evo Mike UK. Mm. So this one I'm just trying to escape. Can you read the manual, please? Sure. Oh okay, you have to shoot him, but stay in the oh. panic room until you're ready. Because okay. you, you run out of stamina. So you have to shoot him pretty fast, so you kind of want to... You have to hit him about three times. Oh, okay. That's... Yeah, but look at your stamina. So you have to... Four times. 
Oh. Stamina goes. Stamina so goes up. your stamina goes back up when you're in the panic room and you're green. So you want to get to the panic room because you're probably not. Well, you might be able to. This guy's harder, and you're dead. Oh, what the? Yeah. <laughs> so stay out of there. Nope. 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 What I was learning when I was playing it was you want to kind of wait in the panic room until he's in a position where he's easier to, to kill and you only have a certain amount of time to get that too. Oh, okay. So sometimes you want to run out, get it, come back, and then... Oh. So it, it's sort of about timing being in and out of the panic room. So there's no this panic has room no panic there, room. So maybe not do that yet. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to read from Everything. the beginning? Okay. Yeah. Number one, the story. You are a rich, ruthless Texas oil tycoon who stepped over everybody and everything to get to where you are today. Actually, home... we read that on the show. Yes, we did. Yeah, so, eh. I would go to the next part. I'm going to read this. Okay. Anyway. It's very short. Your home is your fortress and is glorious for all to see. However, your competitors have escaped from prison and are angry. Very angry. They found out you had them jailed so you could dominate the market. They're after what's rightly theirs and most importantly, revenge. Revenge. The basics. Your aim is to defeat all enemies in each room, solve puzzles, and collect items to increase your score. Hi, Chris. Welcome to the show. <laughs> and escape your mansion. Oh, Panic rooms sense. will require you to plan your lines of attack carefully, ensuring you retreat at the right moments to avoid running out of stamina before you defeat your foes in room after room of tough gun battle against an array of opponents with their own strengths and characteristics. Okay. I felt like a run on sentence. Uh, <laughs> solve the puzzles, be wary of the traps, and find your way out of Tycoon Mansion while trying to recover as much wealth points as possible. No one has ever taken you down yet. Okay. Lives. You begin the game with three lives that are displayed at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, represented by three squares. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a bridge. It's a floating bridge. Oh, to get the key. That's really cool. You don't see this much in games where it's like you have to step on a moving platform. Yeah. That's nice. Um, you will need to complete the floor of the mansion before you lose all three lives to avoid the game over screen. You can lose lives by either running out of stamina, being shot by an enemy, Failing a puzzle trap challenge or touching an enemy directly. Oh, you can't touch them. Wow. Okay. You can move faster with a button, but it uh, decreases your stamina. Yes, it does. Yeah. But there's... if there's no bad guys, you just... Um... Right there. Oh, is that what I got? You got a purple key. Um, okay. There so I need to come go. back and get a yellow key. Oh my God. Do I shoot them? Uh, he mentioned something about that. Disarming T threats. You can disarm some threats if they are flashing red-green whilst in a puzzle room by touching them while green. Oh, God. Okay. I told you to... Wait. <laughs> touching some threats while they flash red will cause player damage and your position to reset. There you go. Okay. So, yeah, you have to touch them while green. Danger and safety. Some rooms contain small subrooms called panic rooms. While you're within these rooms, you are safe from enemy attack and the play field will be green. In a panic room, you also regain any stamina lost from all the panic. Yes, Crossbow. It uh, does have some scan line issues. A little bit, yeah. Oh, that one is just permanently TNT. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can't touch it now. Yeah. Uh, once you leave the panic rooms and enter the danger zone, a continuous alarm will sound and the play field will flash red. Enemies will be able to engage you in red danger zones, but not in safe green zones. Yeah, if you go back... Oh, oh, you're safe in the, in, the, in the doorway. Yep. That's good to know. So I can grab the money and then go back to the safe. And get your... Okay. Yeah. So I want to get him. You can walk slowly and cautiously by moving the joystick in any direction. In a safe green zone that was previously previously occupied by an enemy, you can move slightly faster at the expense of your stamina bar by holding down the fire button. This is useful to get the flashing items that are due to expire, so you can run when it's green. Good job. You cannot jog in a red danger zone or if there are active enemies jog. on the screen due to the paralysis of the panic in the room. The panic in the room. Stamina. In panic rooms, your character is in a state of shock and panic that he is not accustomed to, and the spoils of wealth have made him unfit and lazy. <laughs> well, that's funny. Stamina. It goes back to the top. 
but he slowly comes down oh, when you're he? out of the panic room, which actually makes him easier to hit. Oh, I don't want him that low. No. Go back up. Wonder Stamina will be reduced if you shoot or move around when, in the, when the screen is red and the danger zone is active, or by jogging when the playfield is green and you are in a safe zone. When stamina is low in a danger in a red danger zone, the alert sound will be higher pitch and will flash a lighter color. When you deplete your stamina bar, you will lose a life. Okay, so it is cumulative. You, you can go back in the panic room. Yeah. And then come out and shoot them again, go yes. back in and yeah. shoot them. So that's fine. Yeah. I'll the stamina depletion alert sounds Level different two. than the normal loss of life, life alert. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, run, get my jewel. And leave the room. Oh. Let's go. Oh, get another jewel. Can I do that a, ma a million times? I can. I am. Try. I am getting a high score. Oh, he's cheesing. <laughs> cheesing the game. The highest score ever in this game. Because <laughs> nobody else has it. Nice. I bet he resets completely if you exit the room, though. That's a good question. Yeah. Technically, up there, I think you would it would be like a panic room, so you could hide up there. Think but so? you figured out how to get the ring over and over again, so... Oh, this guy again. Yeah. So there's certain people with certain... <gasps> oh, it closed on you. Oh, boy. Uh-oh, this is going to be trouble. I need to... Oh. oh, no. Get out of the room. Yeah, I need to go over to this side. Oh, might oh, as well do that. That's not so bad. What's that on the floor? Um, That was the key last time. It's like a battery. Mm -hmm. Looks like a battery <laughs> afterwards. Okay, yeah. An okay Full battery. power! <laughs> and there seems to be a trap there. Oh, it's... You're opening something to get the key. Should I walk over that? I don't know. Is it going to kill you? God, I've got I bet life. it is. I bet it is. It seems very obvious, though. Doesn't it? I, yep. Yeah. It just... Yeah. Ugh. Well, you know what it is now. We know what it is. Yep. Don't need to do that twice. Yep. Uh, this guy is hard. Oh, if you get him from the side, it's got to be easier. It's really easy. Because he only shoots down. Yep. Oh, it gets faster. Nice. Though. Gets faster. Good job. And then it opens up again. That's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, there's a trap door. The trap door reset, too. Mm -hmm. Money. Oh. Give me my money right now. Going to the panic room. And then reset and get nope. some more money. Oh. Look get at you. Money. That's just one place, though. Oh, I, yeah, the panic room's over here. There we go. Um, yeah, you're right. Just keep getting more money. <laughs> That's a bit of a... I'm not sure about that. <laughs> this guy, make sure you're above him. Yes. When you shoot him, because yeah, when you're on... Yeah, because he shoots straight in a straight line. And yeah. then you're just hitting his bullets. Items. You will find valuable and important items on your adventure. Some items will unlock new areas to progress your escape. Other items will add to your wealth total if you collect them in time. Some items will start to flash after a while. This will indicate you have a limited time to collect them and maximize your wealth. It's faster. Run, ah. run, run. Oh, yeah, I can press button to run faster. There, there you we go. go. And I think I have that key. Yes, you do. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is he not attacking you? Oh, I'm in a safe zone, I guess? Yeah. Okay, that's a safe zone. Yeah, this uh, level has a bit of jumpiness. Get it, get it, get it, quick, quick. Run, run, run. I think that poor guy just wants a high five. Yeah, woohoo! Come on, everybody, high five! No, <laughs> stop shooting me! Oh, cool. Oh, the oh. TNT is blocking things. Nice. Well, that's what the trap door was forcing you to dismantle the oh. TNT. Screenshot. Doors. Some oh, doors will unlock automatically once you solve a puzzle or defeat an enemy. Some doors may require keys to unlock and will be identifiable by their distinctive locks. Surprise, surprise, Scylla. UK joke. Kills <laughs> okay. uh, are color coded to the color of the lock on the door. Mm. I don't know. I don't 
know the UK joke. I don't know either. Uh, Panic Rooms can be played as a quick arcade shootout or as intended a slow survival action adventure game simply by making changes to the difficulty settings. Oh, okay. So left difficulty switch, you can only regain lives at the end of a completed mansion floor by ensuring the left difficulty switch is in the B position. If the left difficulty switch is in the A position, you will play the game as intended three lives only to complete the entire game. Oh, I think I regained lives, so we're in B position. Okay. Did you go up floors? Must be an earthquake going on. Yep, it's an earthquake. When you move in <laughs> certain directions. Right difficulty <laughs> switch. If the right difficulty switch is in the A position, your enemies will play as intended with full health. If the right, di right difficulty switch is in the B position, your enemies will have reduced health. Oh, I think we're in BB. I think we are, actually. Which is fine for a beginner um, playing it. Mm. Original survival mode. For a challenging oh, and worry. rewarding playthrough of the game in the intended original survival mode, ensure the left difficulty switch is in the A position and the right difficulty switch is in the A position. So, full health enemies. Um, three lives to complete the game. That's AA. Okay. Because I had one left, and I think, yeah, I, think I get in... full again. So are they not ah! full? I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to lose my stamina. I'll get yeah, you every out. time you shoot, you lose stamina. Too. Oh, wow, really? Okay. Nice. Just in time. Woo! Shaky handy cam. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, what was, what was that uh, film? The original. Um... Blair Witch. No. Oh, I guess so, yeah. That's the original. There was a original. Steven Spielberg film that was a war film that was all shaky cam. Was it Spielberg? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it was um, Tom Hanks in it. Yes. Um, but the shakiness has no, been in I action remember, films No, but I remember that when people people like, oh, if you go, you're, you're going to throw up in the theater because oh, it's really? so shaky. Yeah, people were... Oh, but, my God. How do you even... You can't get to the safe room there. Holy crap. He, oh, I guess you have Saving to Saving Private Ryan. Why could I not think of that? That's, yes, it's an iconic movie. Um, mm, mm, yeah, mm. I just remember seeing that and people were like, oh, yeah, it's so shaky. You're, you're, you get nauseous watching yeah. it. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Blair Witch is people pretty are shaky. exaggerating. But that's a different genre altogether. Uh, this guy. Oof, just oh. in time. Well, I can't do anything yet, no, I don't think. No, you want to have a yellow one? Ow. No. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Hit my bonk. Bonk. Hit my head on it. <laughs> oh. the, the rooms stay cleared. You have purple. Which is nice. You have a purple do key. Do I? Here. This is a new level. Oh, it's a new purple. Bonk. Gotcha. I like, I like this. It's a little RPG-ish. That was solved. Yeah. Guess you have to do it every time you go through Maybe. it. Oh, oh my god. I'm gonna die. No, you gotta get next to him. Don't run. No, you're gonna die. And dead. I, I don't know how you're supposed to complete. Um, oh, that was lucky. It's not that lucky. It's pure skill. One shot, you hit him perfectly. Sure. Pure yes. skill. Pure that, skill. That's that's deadly. That right? trap door. Because it's right by the doorway. Yeah. Gotta be paying attention. But if there's a room with like no safe room. Oh my god. I got it. Well, you can, can go, go you can go back. There Just you go. In time. You you completely refill your stamina too. Yeah, you do. I don't know if it's gonna reset him though. I don't know either. Or if I have to get him all in one go, one go. It's really his shooting's really annoying. Yeah, you have to get him all in one go. <gasps> oh, come on! Come on, that was cheap. Uh. Uh. Let's try one more time. No, no, play it again. Play it again. Yeah, one more time. So uh, there's another page, so I'll go through this. Uh, two, shooting from the hip. Oof. Or 11, I should say. It looks like to you. Oof, the reset <laughs> okay. is brutal. Uh, in a red danger zone, your weapon will be unholstered, and you can fire in the direction of the joystick by pressing the fire button. 
Your weapon will be reloaded automatically once the current bullet has been exhausted on the screen. Exhausted. Magic bullets. Um, you will collect points for hitting an enemy and for defeating an enemy. You cannot shoot in a green or safe zone, nor can you shoot from the panic room. Right. Which makes sense. Yes. This will go a lot Credits. faster this time. Credits. Panic rooms is... Uh, um, copyright 2020 Michael Brown. Game design coding manual text box and label design by Michael Brown. Illustrations by the one and only Paul Dowling. Is that what it says? Ah, oh, I yes. just missed it. A big thank you to the Generation 2 playtesting team, Al Albert Uriso, Ronnie Dingham, Brian Mathern, David Bowen, and Richard Grounds. Also, thank you to the Atari Age Homebrew community, especially Albert for all his support and his advice. Go out. We also recommend Zero Page Homebrew's YouTube. Recommend it. Yes. Highly recommend And it. Brian Mathern's homebrew books to keep up to date with the latest... In a tar retro Atari age homebrew games. Well, thank you Good. so much for the recommendation. That's lovely. Thank you. Three out of four stars. Zero page homebrew. <laughs> Three out of four. Uh, okay. Last but not least, uh, to family. Kasia, Summer, Ayla, Misha, Mom, Dad, Kiernan, and the rest of them. Uh, 13, Generation 2 Games is a UK... Uh, UK Sorry, is in the UK and primarily focuses on developing original titles for retro consoles. And then there's a link there um, for Generation 2 Games. It's on Facebook. Um, and then they have a sa Save Gaia preview, which we have played. Yes, we have. Yes. A little bit of. Very cool. So we didn't want to give away everything. Did I get a key very, already? Very cool. Don't put it there. Oh. Oh. It's prime for squishing. Squishing. <laughs> Cat squishing. Hey, cat. Oh, I have to go through the Hi. purple to get first. Yeah. Watch out. Oh, TNT. This oh, you I... started over. That's right. Yeah. This time I will not die on the TNT. <laughs> well, we'll see. And I'll get both of them. Mm. Do you get something if you get both of them? You get a key. <gasps> but you could die on one and get the other one and still get the key. Oh, really? Did you get the key last time? The yeah. yellow? Even oh. though I died on it. Sometimes you can go fast, and sometimes you can't. Like, right now, I can't go... You should be going fast, though. Oh, I am going fast. Oh, it's just not depleting my... That's very weird. strange. Yeah. Okay. This guy... Could get next to him. Yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Get that. So there's different strategies for different guys. Yeah. Because... It's going to go really fast now. Uh, oh, no! Damn it! I'll get all my lives back after. Oh. Nice. There we go. Good job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dr. Mookow's B-B is for babies. <laughs> babies. Babies. Basic babies. <laughs> Beginner basic babies. I need to get that... Exit the room. And then go back in. It's it's it got it's got elements of RPG. It does. I like enough, it. Enough that it's like, okay, I have to go get the door and I have to deal with different enemies in different ways. Um, some he's, shoot, some don't. He's easier up and down. Yes. Rather than the side. That's the key. One, that guy is better from the side because he shoots up and down. That's true. One guy, and then the other guy shoots sideways, so he's easier to... Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's like you're cutting the right wire at the right time. That's right. right. Or I guess in this case, you'd be cutting the, uh, the wick <laughs> of the dynamite. Maybe. Or putting water on it or something. Yeah, I don't know how that works. I mean. <laughs> oh. Is there some that you can... Oh, my God. This guy's the sideways guy. Get him once there. And then get him rest here. Open. Much faster the second time around, because you know how to defeat certain enemies. Hmm. Um, hmm. I come from this direction? There we go. Another one of these dudes who only shoots down and the other guy only shoots up. Oh, I think I get him twice there. Nope. 
cook over really fast. Nice. Get it. Run. 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 Don't use up all your stamina, though. Just oh. most of it. <gasps> oh. You got your money. I had no choice in the matter. Watch out. Um, so oh, this safe. guy I should get from below. But I don't think I can. It's a small room. Yeah, I'm going to have to shoot him. He's a far away, but not... Like, he has to be vertically. I think maybe this this round. He's like the okay. DVD symbol. He is. On the screen. Stay above he him. Never hits the corners. Or below him. Or you, can, or you can wait for him to... Sh I don't think I can get that yet. No, oh. you don't have it. <laughs> it's like it zaps you. Yep. I don't like how when you run, your stamina goes down, though. Oh, I'm pressing the button. Could you accidentally kill yourself? Yep. You oh, that's, exhaust that's yourself. terrible. You could exhaust yourself. Exhaust it. Exhaust the bullets. This is the earthquake room. Oh! Too many things happening at once. Nice. In this room. <laughs> Too many items. See, now I'm running, but I'm not using my stamina. Hmm. So depending, it's sometimes you can, and sometimes you don't have to worry about it. That is fairly tight timing on that. Mm. Now, see, I can run, and I'm not using my stamina. Oh, interesting. So I can let go, and I'm slower. Press the button. Slightly faster. Not that much <laughs> Not faster. super fast. No. Actually, it's really funny, because in Deep Stone Catacombs, we're going to play after... Mm. It's the same thing. You can run with the button. That's really funny. Two games that use the same exact mechanic. You're dying. Ah! You just killed yourself. What are you doing? Because I wasn't watching my bar. I was talking. But I'll get all my lives back That's in okay. about one second. Oh, not yet. I want the cash. Give me oh, the cash. Oh, he's got funny teeth. Oh, he does. He's got walrus teeth. He does. Too close. Too close. He comes for you. Yeah. So you have to wait till he shoots, then reposition him, and then shoot him. Because he'll always be in line with you. Okay. This I, one I love the look of this game, by the way. Oh, the colors. you are safe here. Oh, you just have to be right by the door. Yeah. Skill. Skill. Ah, not ah skill. silly. Not skill. You didn't lose a life, though. Uh, yeah, I did. I, I don't three. know. Oh, did you? I thought you... Yeah. Oh, maybe you did. Oh, you got Oh, me. we got your... Ugh. Terrible. How many levels total in this game? It doesn't say in the uh, uh, manual. There we go. Uh, levels? <gasps> oh, it just shot you from behind. What See, the? you don't want... I don't know. You're, you're staying... What is going on? I'm regaining my my power and getting him up to the top of the screen. It's better if you shoot him from the side. I can't get to the side. Oh my gosh, he resets. But he doesn't shoot when he goes back up, which is good. We'll find out. We'll try and make it to level four. Does it say in the manual how many levels? Yeah. Nope. Nice. Right. Only one life left. Yeesh. Get to right at the far. beginning of this level, and it was a lot harder because it just throws things at you. I remember this, it reignites. Okay, nothing in here. Good. Deadly one. See if he resets. Mm -hmm. Yep, he does reset. So if you leave the room, you can't do that. No. Oh, okay. So you do get a bit of a safe area. Ah. I don't think I. So no. The, it was behind a door, but I don't have the key yet no, for that. No, not yet. Hey, McMuse, welcome. We're two games away from your game. This is the second run through of this game. And last. We're doing a lot better. Really should do the other rooms before going in there. Probably. Because there's no point. 
Oh god. Oh god, get him. And I'm gonna die again. Oh no. Oh. That's, That's what tough. killed me last time. That's you... tough. And that is not the three lives for all the levels. That is, you, you regain your lives every level. Yeah. That's that's the baby mode. That's the baby yeah. mode, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty challenging. That room... That's pretty cool. ...has no safe area. No, you have to and get the, him right and away. And there's no way that I could get him fast enough, I don't think. I'd be very lucky if You'd I could. You'd have to shoot four times in a row and hit him every, every single time. Every single time. Yeah. Oh, my God. Challenging. Very challenging. <sighs> um, cool game. I like the concepts in it a lot. Um... Yeah. It's nice variety, nice yes. level layouts, and it does ramp up. I love the that room is a bit too deadly. Yeah, there some of the rooms are not easy. But... Yeah, yeah, the colors are great. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of line count issues, unfortunately. In a couple um, places, not 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 I every. I blame Brian. Because <laughs> he, he play tested it. Because he, he play tested it. <laughs> so mean. So mean. <laughs> Um, so, the next game we are about to play is Best Friends by a Schwabinger. Mm. Um, so this was posted fairly recently, if you want to pick up the joystick. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will read. Um, so this was uh, posted on Saturday, um, just before we did the show. So obviously, couldn't Should play it then. Yeah, go for it. Oh, I wanted to say... Oh, this is a two-player game, too. Yes? Happy uh, May the 4th. <laughs> yes, happy May the 4th. Unfortunately... We, we should play a little bit of uh, Star Wars for for everyone watching. So. <laughs> okay, we'll play a little... Uh, towards a little, the end. That at much the end. Star Wars. Uh, at the end. Yeah. Yeah. So you can cut it out if you have to. <laughs> Was his name... <laughs> um okay i'm gonna mute that for a second why why are you muting it <laughs> okay it's cute. uh best friends is a two-player game oh i should plug in the other joystick <sighs> or the oh yes actually it's the perfect opportunity to test out this joystick which i think i finally fixed um it's bingo um, there was a farmer who had a dog, uh, and the dog's name was Bingo. B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O. Bingo was his name-o. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy Man 2D says, don't! Oh, okay. <laughs> and then every iteration of Bingo, you leave one letter out. Yeah. B-I-N-G, B-I-N-G. Yeah. 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 Uh, can't fire song. I can't remember what I sang in kindergarten. <laughs> yeah. Mix the plus cart and the movie carts together and you get streaming movie service mm. on the 2600. Mm. You do, actually. Mm. Um, I don't think the bit rate... If the bit rate of the plus cart can keep up... You could. Then yes, you can. Yes, you could. Um, How okay. hilarious would that be? Illegal downloading on the Atari 2600. <laughs> You can stream legal movies. There's plenty of uh, public domain movies. Oh, yeah, but you could... S Big Buck Bunny is an animation that is public domain. Yeah. Or, I'm not saying there aren't public or, domain um, movies. Not public domain. It's um, creative commons. But what commons. fun is that? It is. Oh. <laughs> what fun is that? Okay. I have to read this out. I have to mute this. It's, it's too much. Too much. <laughs> too much right now. We'll bring it back. Um, Best Friends is a two-player game that my wife and I enjoy a lot. We test and play it on a 2600 Junior with a plus cart and an old TV that I rescued from the basement. Hmm. Uh, I run out of PAL TV, but using Select provides some color combinations that will work for fine for NTSC as well. Um, wondering how a one-player version of Best Friends would be possible. Might be a challenge for later. What, because it's two players, I have to read this all out, and we have to sit okay. and wait. <laughs> so you explain everything. Yeah. Okay. When the new next-door neighbors moved in a few weeks ago, it looked like a pretty normal family. The young daughter and the two adorable dogs seemed like great playmates for your kids. But something, somehow things are a bit different at your neighbors. You couldn't quite believe your eyes when you noticed that the cute poodles sometimes look like ghosts, 
wandering around the yard. Ooh. They were also constantly digging for giant, strange dinosaur bones in the backyard. Mm -hmm. But what bother you, you, bothers you the most is the little girl next door is constantly playing on a recorder. Day in and day out, she plays the same song, and it's <laughs> driving you crazy. <laughs> Here it is. The music only stops when you start playing with the dogs. Mm. Then the little musician watches her two best friends for play and forgets about her music for a moment. There is hope. However, you have to find a second player for this game. Okay. At the moment, press friends is a two-player game only. Okay, that's getting muted again. Uh, <laughs> the goal of the game. The winner is the player who is the first to score 21 points mm. and has pushed the dinosaur bone in the color of their character completely out of the yard. Uh, game begins. Start the game. Pressing fire, you exit the first screen and the music stops. Mm -hmm. You and your opponent can each choose a character, dog, ghost, or smiley, by pressing fire. Mm -hmm. As soon as you have both chosen a character, the game can begin. Count to three and then start. Scoring points. The player reaches the ball first is awarded a point. Following this, the ball is immediately and randomly placed on the field and the chase for the ball continues. On the way to the ball, the player can cross their own bone. They can only shove the opponent's bone to the side. If the ball is behind the opponent's bone, it will have to be hard for, to be the first to reach it. Mm. Moving the ball. Once per turn, it is possible for the players to move the ball by pressing fire. If a player sees that the ball is in a difficult spot, they can press fire and hope that the ball is randomly placed somewhere better. Mm. That's, this can be only done once per ball. Okay. Decide quickly if you want to move the ball. When the score is zero at the beginning of the game, it's not yet possible to move the ball. Mm. If a player is more than two points ahead, it's also not possible for them to move the ball to another so spot. So it's, it's an advantage to the person who's behind. It's an ongoing handicap yeah. that's only available sometimes. Yeah. Mm. Um, in order to push your bone out of the yard, you have to repeatedly move your character over the bone. Piece by piece, the bone gets pushed out of the yard. But watch out. If you don't move your bone for a certain amount of time, it slides back into the yard. The bone needs to complete, be completely pushed out of the yard. Only then does it not slide back. To win the game, you need 21 points and have the bone completely removed from the yard. Mm. Pushing the opponent's bone back into the yard. By touching your opponent's bone, you can push it back into the yard. Make sure you attack your opponent's bone before they can they have pushed it out into the yard. Actually, we'll press fire so we can see. There's the bone, and we can pick. Which I want to be a doggy. Oh. The long thing. I want to be a doggy. I'm the purple purple dog. Um, by pushing the bone, opponent's bone to the side, it, it makes the open playing field larger and makes it easier to get to the ball. Uh, the levels of difficulty. Beginning of the game, 0-0, zero, zero, you can choose a character by pressing fire. The characters have different sizes. You can balance out the game if there's differences in skill. In addition, you can adjust the ability level on the back of the console. For each... Oh, he has a four switch, obviously. <laughs> For each player, you can choose beginner... And advanced in advanced mode is more difficult to push the bone of the yard. Um, colors. So this has different color combinations. Sorry, as well. I'm just playing right now. I'm just seeing the functionality. Oh, look at that! Yeah. So uh, I'm a little doggy. Do 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 do. And also, if you touch each other, it resets. So you can use that to your advantage if. Okay, so we're going to play a real game. See, if I push my purple thing, I can push it out of the yard. I can push it back in. Yeah, uh, much quicker than I can push it out of the yard. Yeah. But you might be going for the balls. There, it's gone. Oh, I can't quite catch up to you. We're about the same speed. Oh, we hit each other and we, we cancel each other oh, out. Oh, we reset to the exact same spots, though, not random spots. I would think random spots would be better. Oh, I've got this set to four-way. No wonder. Yeah, you do. I can't go you diagonals. Wanna play, you want to play I can't this? go diagonals. Yeah, I do. Yeah. But I was going to say I fixed the joystick. Balloon dog. It's perfect now. It's not crunchy. Yeah. So there was this, a dust cover on one side. There was a dust cover. It recommended to put it inside between yeah. the plastic and the metal of the joystick and it's stuck and now i took it out and it's perfect mm. so i don't know why they recommend building mm. it that way so this is it our four-way joystick now for mazes yes maze games yes 
And I was like, why can I not go diagonals? And you're going diagonals. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's unplug this and use an eight-way joystick so I have an actual fighting chance of winning. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Turn the music back on. So I'm still purple. Oh. And I'm oh. a ghost. Oh, oh, I didn't get to choose because we can't move. Oh, it comes back. Oh my god, what? How does it come back? I don't know. Good question. Oh, oh. oh that's smart. <laughs> oh, I can't do it because I'm, I'm too far ahead of you. Oh! Oh! Oh, it doesn't always help you, though. Oh, you're going to be me! Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. You're, like, circling it. What? How come I couldn't get it? How come I can't get it? Oh, I've won! Did you? No, you didn't win. You have to, have to push, push your bone, my out. bone out. This is this is really <laughs> interesting. It is. This is really interesting. Same spot gives a more strategy element than mm. uh, RNG. Yes, I I think you're right. It's just that I wasn't moving diagonally before, and I was like, Arr. okay. I, I don't want to be a smiley face. Tough. The button to remove the ball is, is it's such amazing. an advantage. It's, it's such an advantage. It keeps the score really tight. Yeah. Oh my god. I beat you. <laughs> That's because you pushed your bone out of the yard mm -hmm. quick. Hey, I want to be a dog. There we go. Ready? Go. <laughs> Used it up. Oh. Mm. Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of things in play in this game. You can touch each other to reset. Yeah. You can move the ball if it's not there. You have to get your bone out of the yard. Mm. Um, yeah. I like it. Yeah, I like <laughs> it too. Um, the score maybe is a little too low. It's very fast, the game. No, I think that's no? pretty good, actually. Play again. Okay. Want to be a ghost? Okay. The bone should come back into the yard, though, I think, because once it's done, it's it's like it's not even a factor in the game anymore. Oh. Ah. Yeah, the um, moving the thing is such a great handicap for the person who's behind it's so good it is it really keeps the score close yeah <laughs> so great <laughs> i just got it right at the end <laughs> oh my god <laughs> good i'm done that's good i <laughs> I don't know what suggestions I can make. It's really good. It's such a good, simple game. It It's like a simple concept. I really like it. Yeah. I like it.
I think it'd be really fun for kids. Yeah. Because there's not there's not much to it. Yeah. And having that button reset is um, a great equalizer. Yeah. Helps the person behind catch up. Yes, yes. Um, but not too much because you can only press it once and it's random. Puts in. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Let me see. I think it's a 4K game. Hmm. Ah, 8K Ooh. game. <laughs> it is an 8K game. Uh, 8K? I'm not sure why it's 8K. The music. Uh, the music. <laughs> That's right. It's big music data. <laughs> it's a long. Maybe they loop. plan to have more in it. It's possible. Uh, more graphics or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is it, it on cart? No, it just came out. It just came out yeah. like two days ago. Mm -hmm. um, still a work in progress. Wave table music. I don't know what that is. Um, it's not, instead of like play a C, play an F. Oh, I see. Play these frequencies. Oh, I see. Like at 44 Ooh. kilohertz. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, available on the plus cart. Uh, if it's not, uh, it probably Should is. Be. Yeah. Um, because he's testing it on the plus cart. Oh. He might be sharing it public okay. uh, pu in a public folder, or I'm sure it will be very shortly. Mm. Um, highly recommend downloading it. Mm -hmm. It is only a two-player game, and it sounds like he wants to put. That's enough of that. Um, uh, make it uh, also a one-player game, but. That might be challenging to program. And that's why he made it 8K for the AI. That's why. Because there's multiple things a computer can do. There's, it can go for the ball, just go directly for the ball. Mm -hmm. It can go move its bone. Or it can press the button too. Now it has to figure out which one to do and when. It's like, when is it better to move the bone? When is it better to go for the ball directly? Mm. When is it better to move the ball? Mm. And that would be like, if your opponent is too close to the ball, closer than you to the ball. Yes. I would think. Yeah. Always move it. Because I always do. Always. It. Always. And you only have that advantage while you're down. So it just keeps the score close. Gives you a little bit of an advantage. And then... It becomes it becomes frantic to the end because you're usually mm. only a couple of points away from each other. Yeah. I mean, the last game, I won kind of more by luck than anything because that ball was closest to me than you. We were both at twenty. Twenty, yeah. Um, so, and we both just moved the bone out of the yard immediately. I don't see any well, you reason move it, not hit to. it, move it, hit it, move it until it's gone, and then even then. But yours popped back around in one game. I don't know how that happened. No. I don't know if I did something to bring it back because maybe it that would give you an advantage. Because I I think the bone should somehow s I think it should slowly come back in. Maybe I thought that's what it said, but um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, cool though. Maybe that's a mistake, and that it coming around is what it's supposed to do. Yeah, or uh, like if I ran up there, I could bounce it back or something. Yeah, like, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, it is available on the plus cart. Yeah. So if you have a plus cart, you can uh, play it immediately. Nice. Um, nice. Alan the First says it's available. Uh, super fun game. Oh my god, I enjoyed that much more than I thought I would. <laughs> um, it was because I could only it test it fun. by myself, right? Beforehand. Yeah, you couldn't. You yeah yeah. Yeah. Now, how far did you get? You went. You got to the first oh. dragon in Deep Stone mm. Catacombs, right? And died. Yeah. But... I'm gonna let you play once again okay. on the easy level okay. and then i'm gonna play level two which is harder you can choose levels right yeah okay because you like only fun. got to play it for a little bit i did get to the end of the level one which was nice uh, that's but not yeah the end. oh no i'm not saying oh no because there's a second guy after that right yeah yeah i remember i, I remember you playing it i think there's three dragons actually. i remember you playing that yeah it is so fun this game. And I, I wanted to say this so little slick. guy that he created that you're playing. So cute. Is adorable. <laughs> so see the one go off the screen yes. and the fire there and he yes. goes down the steps into it's the catacomb. So nice. Oh my god, it's so awesome. The coins. Oh my favorite is they the coins. They are so nice, I agree.
Um, there's also a beginner and advanced speed with the difficulty switches. Okay, we're on beginner Are we? right now. So I'm going to keep bees? it on beginner. We're on bees? Yeah. He moves fast, actually. If you press a button, you can move even faster. Oh. And speed run. And there's no penalty. Oh my goodness. There's no penalty for that in this game. Oh, that's awesome. So you can really speed run through. Because you have to backtrack sometimes. So mm -hmm. you may need to go really, really fast. Extra life, but you're at maximum four. So we've got Mick Muse in the chat. Hey, if you want to ask Muse. him questions about the game. Um, far below the surface, the evil Dark Lord Cram, his army of undead soldiers and three ferocious dragons guard an unma unimaginable lot of treasure. They stood undisturbed for a millennia until the band of ten foolish thieves attempted to pillage the depths below. They did not make it far, however. Only one was able to escape alive. So that's the beginning. So once a room is cleared, it's cleared. I love how I'm excellent at... Uh... Yeah, the scorpions are easier from below or from the side. Because... From... Fast run. I didn't know the fast run was in there. Oh, when you were playing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So nice. It is. It's such a smart mechanic. So have you done all the rooms? Yep. Next level. In anger, Cram attacked the kingdom of Tradon. Triadon. Triadon? He recklessly set flame to everything in his path, kidnapped Princess Robin, and caged her 26 floors down into the very dark underworld of the catacomb. Princess is now in great danger. The princess. Her only hope is someone skilled enough to come to her rescue. This is your chance to prove yourself. You must do what it takes to defeat the Dark Lord. So you're in standard mode. Game two is stronger enemies. You have to hit them more. Which is going to be much worse for the dragons. Uh, and game three is unlimited dungeons. So that just keeps going and going and going. So that thing just you can't comes, hit at, it. comes at you. Yep. He's moving really fast. person is suspicious in the chat. <laughs> Looks like a phone number to me. Suspicious. You better stay good. Oh no! Stay away from that. No! No! Get away from me! Ah! Oh, lost a life. Gotta hope for the power-up mushroom. I did get one before, but... Princess can only be rescued on game one and game two. Game three is best if you're attempting to top the high score. Um, oh, and you're trapped in this room. If you go into a room that has that thing, yeah, and you can go out and go back in, don't do it. Do it. Oh, really? Because it may disappear. Oh, yes, yes, right? yes. I know that. But it seems to be trapping you a lot Most in the rooms. Okay. Um, okay, Douglas. We'll call you Douglas. You seem like a normal person so far. <laughs> Did you just type a bunch of numbers and went for it? <laughs> the doors now close on any room with the missile tracker. Oh, Mick, you're brutal. <laughs> so mean. Ooh, oh, there you go. Yeah. The last time I played, I did not get the chicken leg at all. Chicken leg. Not once. Oh, no. Yeah. Because I was just cheesing it every single time that that little floaty thing was in the room. Oh. So Mick's like, no, no. Yeah. East Coast Atlantic photography? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when the game begins, begins, the lives are on the bottom left. Okay. And your health bar is on the bottom right of the screen. We <laughs> figured that out. Uh, you control the warrior of the realm. So take the sword that was left by one of the fallen thieves. Now, eventually you get an upgrade to your sword. Yes, we. I got the upgrade. Um, ah. But with the upgrade, you cannot be hurt or you'll lose the upgrade. Yes, so and then once you once you regenerate, the upgrade comes back. Mm, yeah. So it's so frustrating when you get hit because this upgrade is so good. So good. Mm -hmm. um, your goal is to explore the entire floor, clear the many rooms and quarters of the enemies, and collect the items left behind. Now, the only reason to explore the whole dungeon... Is if you are 
low on health, or you don't have four lives, or you don't have the upgraded sword. Well, before you get to the... Uh, and I can't remember... Before you get to the boss, because you want as many lives as possible. Yeah, but there's no experience points, there's no extra health, mm. right? They the, do look like Jawas. They do, and I think we made that comment when we, when we played it. So Tolo Squared is hosting. Well, thank you so much for hosting. Oh, it's the big one. Chunky oh, guy. I don't like the missile guy. Nope. He is super mean. And he, moves he is slow. mean. Why oh, is he so mean? I swear he moved slower before. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. that was lucky. Um, McMuse, did you Mikos. speed up that moving guy? Because he seems to be like faster than you can like five floor five okay it, it, yeah five popped up when i went down yeah uh 20... there you go crossbow that's the floor i'm on <laughs> mini boss yeah 26 floors um once found you can stand on the ladder to enter the next floor the current floor number will be displayed in place of your score at the start of each level so you're on five uh you cannot oh, go back to the previous wild. floor <gasps> Yay! Upgrade! Woot! I'm not sure there were a few changes <gasps> since you last played. Health, it. too. Look at that. Ooh, big health. Nice. Big health! So, what is in the game? The coin, 50 points. Oh, yeah, I forgot about switches. Oh, you have the nice... Oh, there we go. Shooter. Yeah, until you, until you get hurt. Yeah, don't get hurt. It's so good. I know. Especially, oh, that's how you can defeat them, is with this. Ah, oh, you no! lost it. Oh, extra, it. extra life, though. Um, meat, meat, 50 points, increases health. Mushroom, 50 points, increases life. So you can have extra life. Sword, 100 points. A switch, unlocks a door. Got to keep away from them. I know, I, I guess. Legendary oh. sword. Legendary sword is believed to have special powers, but you're only, only when you're at full strength. Yeah. So when you oh, die and yeah. reboot, <laughs> reboot, reboot. <laughs> regenerate. Lock door blocks floor exit. Ooh, I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. um, red scorpion, not a very intelligent critter, seems to wander around mm -hmm. aimlessly. However, you need to keep your wits about you. They roam in higher numbers and move swiftly further down the catacomb. Blue scorpion, a nasty pest to come across in the darkness. Those blue scorpions will track you down when they become aware of your presence. So you have to have full health, then you get the sword, mm -hmm. right? You can't get this, or no, the, the, the sword brings you to full health. That's what it was. And that's what I do. I let them come to me and spam the button rather than go into them. Ah! Oh, shooters. These are the guys that take away your sword. Oh, you got it. How did I get it? I must have, you know what? I must have gotten health. You must have got it, stepped mm -hmm. on it, yeah. Do you get the shoot sword again if you can manage to fill your health to full? The sword fills your health to full. Oh. Oh. oh, you just missed it. I think the sword fills your health to full, and then if you lose any health... Oh, you're too close to them. If you lose any health, you lose the sword. Yes, you lose... If you're down... If you're anything but full, then you do. I've watched you play uh, Deep Stone Catacomb, but what's the end of the goal of the game? The end game is to take out the Dark Lord and rescue the princess. And it is not easy. The um, the end boss in this. Oh my god, it's nightmarish. Um, I d I really doubt yeah. I will be able to defeat the boss at the end of level two. What is happening? Oh, he's just really tough. You weren't hitting him there. No. Is he shooting at the same time you're shooting? It's coincidentally. It's a bug. Do recall. Oh no! Oh, no, no, get away from me! Oh, thank goodness. Well, that doesn't give me oh, health. Oh, it doesn't though. give you health, it gives oh, you an extra I life. Need a chicken leg! No, I don't want these guys! These guys are awful! Uh, ah! <laughs> um, fire elemental. Not even the beasts below choose to cross the pathway of the fire. Oh, the fire, I remember them. Um, the fire you can't kill, it just gets in your way. Org, those are the, um, I think those people you were just fighting. A big dumb oaf, but a dangerous one at that. They're quite strong and like to throw boulders at anything that moves. Keep an eye on the direction they're facing to avoid being crushed by large 
Flying Rebel. Mm -hmm. The mummified undead. They are the ancient remains of the unoccupied, or the original occupants of Deepstone. They are resting in peace until the Dark Lord awoke and forced them to serve his army. Yeah. They now might. Oh, you got the sword? Uh, no, I got oh. health. Okay. I got the sword a long time ago. The, the flying sword? Yeah. Well, you you Look. lose it and get it. Yeah. Over and over. Because I got health um, back. Oh. Oh, you get it when you get full health? Yes! You don't have to get the sword. Yes! Oh. I thought you had to find the sword. No, no, no. You just need full oh, health. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. It's been such a long time since I played this. You're so close to these creatures. I'm not Get away trying from them. to be close to them. You say that like I'm doing that on purpose. <laughs> you are. I'm You're being not. so silly. No. Uh, the Jawas, mm. the Hood, the mysterious dungeon dwellers, a formidable foe that relies on melee attacks. Uh oh, it's uh -oh. a dragon boss. It's boss time. But you do have the projectile, so stay. Yeah, and that's going to work for like two seconds it, until it the little missile thing attacks me. Get as me. many hits in and with it as you can. Oh, now you're right freaking away. me out. Avoid it. Ah. Uh. Oh. oh, I hate this stupid missile thing. Ah. It's hard. It is hard. Ah. Oh. I don't know why oh. you weren't hitting it. You were like one pixel no, away I'm or something. No, I'm not close enough. You have to be really bloody close. Oh, there's a picture of Mick. <sighs> hey! <laughs> know what he looks like right now. I know what he looks like now. We saw him in person. Oh, you uh, get the sword stop back. It. Right. And it lasts for like two seconds. Oh, I think that's what I did. Go, as in, go in circles. Oh. Totally missing him. I know. I know because it doesn't go that far. There you go. Yes, yes. Oh, nice. He was stuck in the wall or something. Ah! Oh. Now I... You're it's not him. hitting him. Why is it not hitting him? Did hit him in the head? I don't know. There, finally. Oh, you have to hit him in the head. In there the you... head. There, there you, you go. go. Well, I got him. But isn't there another one right after it? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Good. Oh, go down. Go, no. Get off the ladder. Why? Because there is treasure. Tons of treasure below. Below? Yeah, there was a room down. That's where I came in. I think there was treasure there. It's a treasure chest. you go chest. back? Well, you can't go, go now. Yeah. So you could go back to the room you were from? I think so. I think so. that's what I remember. Not I this room? Silly person? Oh, this room. Never mind. <laughs> there was a treasure room. I was just, like, panicking. Run. You have to run through it. Run. 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 The whole room? Run. Run. As fast as you can. Really? Yeah. It runs out or something. I... I seem to remember it running out. Well, I don't know. Maybe it People is. People are screaming at you. The head, the head. Or maybe you don't have to run. I don't know. No, I don't think so. You have to run and get these things, but... Okay. Oh, within the rooms. Yes, that's right. They disappear yeah. if you don't get them. Within the rooms. Within the rooms. That's what I was thinking, because they do. It's been like a year or two years <laughs> since I played this game. I just remember... Oh, no, no, now no, you've no. got a floaty. Oh, well, she's... Oh, that's why. Uh, Stop uh, it. Oh, it doesn't go far <laughs> enough. That's so annoying. Uh, Captain Classic says, I like the look of this. Very Zelda NES-like. I would love a roguelike with randomized dungeons. Oh, <laughs> be still my beating heart. I would love a rogue game. Oh, my God. Um, the... Dra dragon, um, what is that one? The one with dragons in it. He has a randomized um, game. Uh, that one is randomized, I believe. Captain Classic. I only barely looked into it before setting on something much easier to make. A randomized dungeon would likely require at least a 16-bit PRNG um, to procedurally produce enough different looking rooms. Oh my god, it has probably been over a year. I remember you and Erlen playing. It seemed like yesterday. Well, that definitely puts it at over a year. Oh, get away from it. Oh, run, 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 run. oh, oh. Close. Just Tanya. Just Tanya? Who was playing this Saturday night on uh, Atari Age Day? Just Tanya. Yeah, I didn't I didn't play any games, sadly. No. Do you want to take over for me? Uh, No. You're, it's your game to, to win. I'll play after you. 
Special thanks. Albert Yoruso, Atari Age, Fred Quimby, Random Terrain, Ice Posta, Arena Foot, MVO, Carl G, James Tanner, Aaron Aww. and Darcy. Zero Page Homebrew. Thank you for your support of Homebrew Gaming. Created by Mick Muse, who is a coffee cup. Coffee cup? <laughs> <laughs> That's his little symbol. Nice. Uh, tips for survival. Remember to hold down the fire button to run. This can quickly get you out of harm's way. Enemies will throw one boulder at a time. Wait for it, then quickly go for the attack. Enemies will fire straight ahead. So master diagonal attacks. Yeah, I'm not good with that. <laughs> with the legendary <laughs> sword. I quite gotten the hang of that yet. You must find the dragon's weak spot in order for your attacks to deal uh, real damage. Ah! The fire only goes back and forth. So I know. It's still a pain. Especially when there's... Can you, can you kill the fire? No, you cannot kill the fire. Ugh. Pain in the ass fire. No, you do have to oh, kill you the do fire. It? Oh, it's been so long. Oh, <gasps> you lost... You it. did that to me. I You're like, nothing. you don't need to kill the fire. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. you do. Sorry. Liar. It's been years. It's been years. The, bra the dragon does blink. Um, she was just hitting it not in the head, so it wasn't blinking. And we we're like, what is going on? Panic! You can kill the fire. Thank you. <laughs> it's very helpful. Ah, I hate this thing! <laughs> ah, stop it! About to die! I keep forgetting I can run away. Oh, oh stop! There we go. You need a chicken leg. <sighs> Sign off. Just notice we can see the game playing on oh. the flat panel in the cat cam. Oh, the, <laughs> the cat cam is pointed funny. Oh, that's is fun. it? I'll oh, leave it like funny. that. You see like a crazy perspective of the game. <laughs> oh, oh, stop it. You were missing like five times in a row. I know. It's going above his head. Ugh. I remember you playing this and having trouble with this. What are you doing? I'm trying to get away from this <laughs> stupid missile. You can run. Oh. There we go. Chicken. Oh, just thank goodness. in time. Oh. Just in time. Just in time is right. It's good because every level has felt slightly more challenging yes just a little bit more because it has you know the fire now yeah um harder enemies i love the coins <laughs> what did it, it had some sort of score let's see any patch for this um now that i finished coding i've sat down and finally played a game for fun I managed to get to floor 33 with a high Oof! score of 29,850 29, on game three and left difficulty set to B. Can you get a higher score? We'll have to try that in another show. Do you want your, you want yes. your thing? Yes. Okay. I am going to die. Ah, lost it immediately. Oh, terrible. Ah. Hi, cat. Terrible. ways has she gone? I have not been watching. Nope. 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 Maybe. Nope. Is that the whole level? I think she's cleared out the whole level. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. And dead. That was not good. Oh, god damn it. I 
had my shooter. I died. Oh, God. Start me on this hard level. Hard level? Oh, you're, you're, you, that's a mini boss. Going to die. These guys are fast. <gasps> Yay! Yeah! Just in time. Okay. There yes. You go. I worked job. very hard in this room to make sure I didn't go over cycle. Oh, yeah. the one, that one. Your stuff together. And we'll try. Ugh, there we go. Thank you. Food just in time. Sorry, I died once. Anything more? No? No, this was a mini boss. Oh, that's Level. fine. It's hard. And uh, Mick did 13? post a uh, map of all the levels. Like, ah, you got me! Sorry. <laughs> no, he got me. Oh. Um, Mick posted a map of all the levels, but not really the levels, like the map of, oh, this level is a mini boss. Oh my god. It's brutal. Thank goodness for chicken. Chicken legs. Yep. Halfway there. Food! Come on, kitties. Halfway to what? To the end of the game. Oh, oh how, how he hit me? I have no idea. I guess it didn't go down enough. Yeah. Or maybe he didn't hit me. Ah! And lost. I hate those guys. They're so fast. Oh, oh, don't be like that. I didn't hurt you. You just didn't want me to pick you up. No, stay. Oh, sweetie cat. Avox our... support would be cool. It would say chicken. Oh, that would be awesome. Because <laughs> it's only one person, uh, one player game, right? Mm. Your next game. Give it Atari Vox support. <laughs> chicken. You're doing really good at this, Tanya, Mick says. Mm. Yeah, you are. It, it is on the harder, getting up in the harder levels now. Mm. Ooh, ooh, oh. Those guys go after you. They do. They're rough. Mango. Mango. <laughs> <laughs> that is probably the best Atari <laughs> Vox phrase. It is. In Mango's Down. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, and you Why lost they... it immediately. I swear they, uh... Oh, I don't life. want that. I don't it's want good. that. I want the chicken. Uh, true, but it is good to have. <laughs> Can't shoot that. I know. You can try. This... Oh my goodness, this Almost guy. Dead. This guy! Remember, you oh, can run. Oh, this is not good. It doesn't matter. It's the space you have to run around things. That's the problem. Lol, we should Rough. all start placing random mangoes in all the time. <laughs> yes, definitely. Mangoes everywhere. Good job. Good job. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I needed that last round. That's right. The game is pretty good at giving you... Oh, you lost it. Um, extra lives and extra health when you need it. Mm, kind of. Like, just barely when you need it. I really hate that floating thing. What it's, floating thing? Oh, the, the missile, the missile so thing. Oh, much the missile thing. I agree. That was a flaming mango. <laughs> Did the whole level? Pretty sure, yeah. Flaming. 14. Oh. Over halfway there. These guys throw, yes. The secret to this is keeping that sword, but it's hard to it's keep. It's so hard. <laughs> oh yeah, he said only one of them can throw it at a time. So as soon as one throws, you can go after another one. Of course, when you're down to one, that's the guy that's going to be throwing everything. Enemies are getting spastic. They are spastic. Getting all crazy. Oh, so hard. Oh, he's going to kill me. I'm going to die. Ah! Remember to run. Run, run, run. Doesn't, it doesn't help you. It does when you're trying to run Not away from that really. thing. Not really. Not really. 
Oh. Keep your sword. Keep your flying sword. Okay, keep it as long as you can. Ah. Ah. Sometimes they... There you go. Ah. I don't like keep how... Oh. oh! It's hard. So sad. Are oh, you gonna die? I know! <laughs> Perfectly ah. aware of the fact that I'm gonna die. Oh no! Oh, I almost had him too. Last life. Or I you don't have even one care. in reserve. I, uh, only have... one. Oh. It's so hard when you have to get close to them to hit them. What? He hit your sword. No, he hit me. Are you sure? Yes. You don't get hurt when he hits your sword. And oh. about to die again. Oh, it's like you're not quite on the right angle. So he hits you and you don't. Oh, oh 9100. Okay, you're going to do level three, right? No, level two. Oh, I thought you were going to do two? Yeah. All right, so we get to see level two? Because there's an ending to level two. So each, each level has an ending? No. Level three is forever. Goes forever. So this is seven? It said floor seven. Did it? Yes. So I was at level like 15. Or does it say floor one and it looks like a seven? Oh, See maybe. that's at the bottom, the one? It looked like a seven. Yeah, it's a bit, bit, bit long. This is, is it just a different maze? Uh, it's. Because this looks like they, something we've done before. The guys are harder to kill. They take more uh, hits. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, more hits. Oh, okay. Is it the same maze? I believe so. So oh it's, 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 it's the difficulty level. Yes. Difficulty gotcha. level. Uh, when do you get the flying sword? Uh, uh, you get it halfway oh, through. as a bonus? Right. No, you, you find it. Seven? Level seven? Uh, something like that. It's like halfway. Okay. Well, you just made it over halfway, and you had the sword for a lot no, longer. No, no, halfway that. to, like, the first boss, I think. Oh, okay. Enemies take the same amount of hits, but they hurt you double when you get hit. Yeah. Oh, that's very different. I don't like that. You're going to die <laughs> Actually, fast. Actually, both ways are bad, but... I love the scorpion. I love the enemies. I really do. Every character in this is so colorful yeah. and, and so beautiful. The enemies get faster as you go through, too, which is yes. kind of crazy. Yes. Hi, Atari. Atari's in the cat cam? Is he? Oh, sort of. The cat cam's not really adjusted properly. It's not a cat cam. Hold on, let me adjust. Um, let me adjust. okay, now you can adjust. Oh, kitten ran away. Oh, kitten. Sorry. Let me get this. Bit much. There. No, more. Angle the actual front piece of the camera. There, good, perfect. No, it just bounces back when you pull it, so. Psst, psst, psst. Kitties! <laughs> Come back. And he comes back. There you go. There you go. Extra life. Now I'm full, full, full. Oh, crying cat. No need for the crying. Oh, I got it. Nick says, I think I'm going to add a Tari Vox support in my next game. Nice. <laughs> it is fun. It's always... <laughs> it it's, is fun. I, I don't know how much room it takes up, but I'm guessing yeah. it's not a ton. Not a ton, I'm sure. Because you're not, like, encoding voice. You're encoding things to tell it what to do. And especially for saving high scores. Mm. I mean, it's just great for that in, in general. Even if you're not going to use the, the voice part of it. Voice is fun. You just have to make sure you make the game so it works without the voice, too. Mm -hmm. So that people aren't, like, it isn't detrimental to people without a uh, Atari Vox. Unless you're, like, really making it, like, no, Mushroom! You, you have to have <laughs> the Atari Vox. I don't know if there's any games that are, like, no, you have to have it. Not Mushroom, Shroom! 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 Ah! Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. I hate that thing. Oh, I hate it so much. Oh my god. Just oh, that was good. 
<laughs> what you gotta do, gotta spam the button. Because he does hit as fast as you press it. Yeah, kinda. Very fast. He he goes very fast. Uh, yeah, I'm at full. Why wouldn't why didn't, I don't need anything else here? Oh, it's boss time. Any boss? Ah. That's how you do it. And then it's rewards. You were mad at me. There's no rewards. What? Here. No, this isn't the, the boss. You get the reward with, from the dragon. Ooh. <laughs> what was I mad at you You're not there for? yet. You're like, oh, you missed all the all the all the gold. <laughs> I'm like, no, There's I don't gold. think so. That's where I came from. <laughs> that would be really mean. I wasn't paying attention. I was just looking. You're there like, you but you didn't go through the door. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the, the door it came in. Lame and me. Yeah. I need a chicken leg really bad. Really, really bad. You throw things? Yes, you do. Throw it. Throw it. Thank you. Back to full. <laughs> Four and full. That's what I want. No, I don't care. Just go down the ladder. I don't need anything else. I'm not going for score. Don't care about score when there's levels. <laughs> Just don't. Just get to the end. Shoot. He's playing on the Switch. They have a lot of the old Nintendo games. Right. Uh, ah. I, I like pulled up um, Star Tropics. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot how hard that was. <laughs> but it, it's it's similar. It's Zelda like in 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 the top down view and yeah. you know fighting all the enemies and. Um, reminds me of this game a little bit. Come on, give me the... Give me some chicken. Not that I need it too badly, but... Now I need it badly. Oh my god. And I finished the level, haven't I? The first Star Tropics has instant death doors. Yeah. Instant death door? Oh my... How'd and you I died. Because I was already almost dead. I do remember oh, some of that. It's been already. a little while. Like, you'd go into rooms and they'd lock you in with monsters and there'd be nothing there. Like, it was good for stuff like that. Yeah, instant death doors. So you'd be like, yeah, I'm not going in that well, room. It sounds like panic rooms, right? Yeah. You lock me in a room and you, your health is going to zero. Yeah. It's, that's so defeating. Everything shoots now. Everything sh throws projectiles now. Mm hmm. Mm. It's hard fast. Come on, walk over here. Come to you. But I think I've said this before. And Nintendo is. Oh a my kid. god! Oh, you die fast when you hit them. That's bloody hard. Oh ah, no! The missile is so fast now. It's not what I need. Oh, it's so fast. Come on. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Get out of there, dude. How do they handle the submarine passcode? I rented back in the day. Didn't have the letter. Lucky oh, guess no. of the three-digit code after three guesses. <gasps> Wow. Yeah, uh, so I bought, I, I think it was one of the few games I bought, you and you, you have the poster. Oh my god. And there's a hint to the passcode on the poster, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. And I can't remember, though. That's so, it's so crazy. I'd have to look it up again, but there is like a poster and a map. I bought it for you, and for there's, your birthday. No, no, but the actual game came yeah. with a poster and everything, right. and, and you use that to figure it. How does the Switch handle it? I don't know. Oh. I didn't get that far. <laughs> I just started playing, so I was just down in the first dungeon, which is still really challenging. Um, I need to like look at some old footage of how to play it to remind myself. Oh, of, this one needs a key. Yeah, you have a switch somewhere. Um, I didn't get that far. I'd have to see. Uh, just yeah, you just flip it. No. These rooms are the worst because You're dodging, in. dodging those those, dodging the missile and the, the pillars in it. Yep, terrible. Rough. This is the worst. Damn it! Damn it! But if you notice, I have one life left. 
while you hit when you hit a guy in this yeah the game kind of freezes for a second mm. which is so good because then you can easily hit again the guy see that it slows down mm. this is a nightmare oh my god oh did he just go nuts and speed up need an extra life mick give me an extra life oops I'm not leaving this level yet before i get an extra life oh, maybe here i hope no. nothing not helpful nope am i done no mm. i don't think so did you go to the left right there yeah no oh, off one that's where oh there yep no yep. that was a terrible room those rooms are done. terrible oh, yeah, i am done you might be Ooh. Oh no, I have one life. And a tiny sword. Nope, this is a bad dude. Oh, well, you'll get your life back. Yeah, you do have to hit the head. From the top is definitely... Oh! <gasps> lucky! Not lucky. There's nothing there. <laughs> no, there's nothing there. <laughs> I would. I need all my lives back, please. No, not coins. You'll you'll get some other stuff. One. Oh, you got one. I need. You some got food. some fungi. No, I need. You're more. a fun guy. No, I need more. Thank you. Fun guy. Okay, now I need food and one more life. No, stop it with the Mario Brothers coins. No. That's how you get points. No, oh, I don't care about the points. Oh, you got, you got, look, you're almost at full. Uh, you're very close. Uh, uh, I need one more life. How are you pretty much, uh, 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 what? Oh, God. Where's the sword? Oh, now I've got four lives. Okay. Oh, RC7E is saying covert things to McMuse about some big secret that's gone unnoticed. In this? In this game. And then Mick Muse said, Haha, you pretty much are. It'll get accidentally found at some point, so there's something, something secret in here somewhere. Oh, like secret passageways. Must be. Probably in the dragon room. He's a fun guy, but there's mushroom for improvement. I oh, like it. Oh, I've never I like heard it. that. That's, <laughs> that's a new one. Uh, that's Damn it. Good. That no! Be... <laughs> that should be on a t-shirt. Yes, it should. Uh, uh, what? I got an extra life back? How did I? How did I get an extra life? I, don't know. I must have not noticed me getting. I something. feel like everything's moving faster right now. Well, that's because even... I'm booting it around. Yeah, but even even the coins. <laughs> These guys don't bother me. It's the um. Yeah, it's not shooting the anything. skeletons. Ah. Are brutal. They move so fast. Aha! Good job. Nice. And I like the scorpions too because they're pretty easy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ah. you, you lost some health ah. somewhere. No, I haven't. I haven't gotten the sword. I yet. thought you got full health. Oh, you haven't. What? You haven't gotten the sword yet? No. Maybe you skipped it. No, don't tell me that. <laughs> Don't tell me. I that. had it before the dragon, didn't I? Oh my god. Maybe not. I thought I had it before the dragon. Yeah, I had it before the dragon. Did I mess you up? Mess, you messed up somewhere. Or it's not because it's level two. Maybe oh. it's somewhere else. Maybe it comes later. Make me Did I mess up <laughs> and not get the sword somehow? <gasps> <gasps> Skipped it somewhere around the third floor. Oh no. I'm gonna play it hard mode. What level are you on? Like I don't know. Eight, he passed the dragon, 10? so I'm playing this hard level mode. Level two, level two, level two, floor, whatever. Nine, ten, now. Eleven. <laughs> Nine or ten, then you missed it. Okay, doing it hard mode. <laughs> you want credit for it? That's right. Without the ultimate sword. Oops. Oh, that was oh. dumb and avoidable. 
Oh, you no. You just made your life so much worse. Oh, goddammit. Friggin' missile things. Oh, that was lucky. Yeah. I find the fire not too hard. It just restricts the area you can run around in. Yeah, it's it's not too bad. If I can do this in hard mode, then I should be able to easily do it with the projectile. It does bounce away from you, which is good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Arena Foot! Welcome. Congrats on your uh, checklist book. Yes, on your release. Yes. Doesn't always bounce away from you. <laughs> Frequently. Good, good job, good job. I uh, think I'm done this level. So once the pandemic is lifted, uh -huh. where are all the places we're going to go to? We want to <laughs> go to the, what is the, yeah, um, well, definitely Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Yep, number we, one, but that's not for a long time. Def, uh, well, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. This is, this is the, Just the future list. list. Okay. Uh, Austin for the, was it Austin or Houston? Houston? For the um, Gaming Expo down, ooh. <gasps> so close. Oh, so close. Disneyland! No. I want it. He does not. He's not a fan of Disney. I would go to Disneyland any day of the week. Oh, come on. I want a Dole Whip. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> you want a Dole Whip? Yes. Oh, I... I will have to go with someone who's not you. Because you would just complain the whole time we're there. I wouldn't even go. I'd go somewhere else. I know. To go with your sister. Oh, oh God damn. damn it! I'm gonna die. Hey, Houston area arcade group, the arcade expo. Yes, Houston expo. Oh, CG Fleet Classic Gaming Fest. I will go to any of those. And we were looking up where Houston Houston was. It doesn't seem too far from Austin, Texas, which is a place I'd like to nice. see. Yep. And also not that far from uh, New Orleans. I, yep. I don't know exactly what the distance would be, but it seems like that would be a wonderful opportunity to see that part of the U.S. which we have not seen, which is like the, the, the southern... Damn it! ...central yep. part of the U.S., so... How am I going to get this? Oh. I feel like there would be a pretty big road trip going on there. Yeah, you might as well. You do might that, as well if you're going to... area. If you're going to go that way. Six to eight hours from Houston to New Orleans by car. That sounds totally reasonable. I... Taken much, damn it, <gasps> much longer car Last trips. Life. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Texas is big. Yes, it is big. It's a big, big state. <gasps> oh god. And I've it. never been to Texas, and damn it, there are a lot of big cities in that part of the U.S. that oh. I would love to see. Yep, oh, it's dead end. Well, I got an extra life, but I also died once. Is that it? I must have missed a whole area. Is it very linear? No. It's... Oh, God. Oh, oh. This is not mm -hmm. a good spot. This is a death room. Run, 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 run. Run away. <laughs> Horrible. I hate those things. You're so close to dead. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. oh, right into it. Oh, no. Oh, Pittsburgh. Yeah. Replay FX. Oh, <gasps> oh get it. Oh, On my that's last lucky. life. Please give me an extra <gasps> life. Oh, oh, good. Good, good, good. Corks in Ohio, too. I don't know that one. I don't know that one. Oh. Oh. I've rebounded. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. It's brutal. Nice. That's a lot of different things. Yeah, I haven't heard of Korgs <laughs> in Ohio. No. That one's new to me, so. Classic 
retro classic something retro <laughs> gaming seminar <laughs> <laughs> guessing the acronyms what level am i on 14 14 good job you guys are making me want to start up my expo again oh, oh you did an expo very cool you know what people are pre- going to be pretty desperate desperate for expos and conventions oh, yeah. they're going to go to all of them yeah. oh my god it's not easy not easy to keep your uh yeah for those who have just tuned in have I'm you cl- guys watched halt and catch fire no oh. i haven't i'm sorry i haven't i have wanted to watch that it's on the list oh, if, oh death so fast in, in level two it is um it's on my list along with i still haven't seen queen what is it queen's gambit right right i haven't seen that yet either and oh everyone God. tells me how good that is midwest gaming classic this November. Yeah. That is surprising. Wow. I don't think we'll... Oh, my goodness. I don't think we'll be... Uh, Going out of country. They'll be letting us cross the border. Well, maybe. Maybe by November. Maybe. Mm. We might even have the... Oh! Second vaccine oh. shot by then. About to die. Oh. Good job. No, not really. Yeah, it was a good job. <laughs> So what did he get to level on level three? Thirty-three. Is that what he said? Thirty-three. So we're gonna trade off twenty-nine thousand floor thirty-three. Left difficulty set to B. Yeah, they're on B. So we're gonna trade off here, level by level. Are we? Oh, thank you, Arena Foot. Yep. Floor I'm by go floor. First. Yep. Or level by level. Level by level. So, well, that's his floor by floor. Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. <laughs> you said floor by floor or level by level? It's like, yes, <laughs> both. No, there's levels. One, two, three, which you pick at the beginning. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, floor by floor. Yeah. That's fair enough. This is level three, so this is going to be super hard. When you get hit, you get destroyed. Oh, do you? Yeah. Probably. How did I miss the sword? Like, where was it? Uh, It was in a room that you didn't find. <laughs> I went in every room on every. I don't know. Level. You were you were rushing through certain parts. You were pretty rushy. <laughs> pretty rushy. You were pretty rushy. I would have won the game, I think, if I had. I'm gonna have to play again on another day for sure, <laughs> because I will defeat level two. And there's three dragons. I got ripped you off. Said? Yes. Yeah. So you didn't even get past the first well you got past the first one you didn't get to the second one yeah because they you die fast i don't think i'm gonna make past level two i'm just saying gonna wreck (laughs) floor floor two floor Floor two two. we'll see what did you see everything yeah (laughs) difficulty is the same on level three but Ah! oh my god hit me once oh because i was low low are you low health Difficulty is the same on level three, but more random on every floor with which enemy appears and it doesn't <gasps> end. Oh my god, what are these guys doing here? <laughs> this is this is floor two! Yeah. Ah ha ha! No princess on level three. Ah! There's no princess? At the end there's no end to this. So oh. There's, so there's no princess. There's just oh my god. It's just enemies forever. Is there only three levels? You've destroyed two of our lives. I know! I told you it's not going to go well. Uh, uh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's not going to go well. Still dragons, though. Okay. Oh, you guys too close to them. I know, but you have to hit them. So technically... I'm trying not to get so close to him! Oh my god. Brutal! Brutal! Should I play level two again? Yes. And <laughs> the sword is on level three. I don't know. It's not... N- n- floor. floor. Stop three. saying level two. Floor three. I'm going to be... Pedantic? Yes. Oh, God. Is it on floor three? No, it's not that early, I don't think. No, don't tell him where the sword well, is. Well, I, I could just... I found the sword. I he can just, find the sword. I could just rewatch my old stream and find <laughs> it. 
It's not that. It's not hard. It's just in one of the rooms. I think you just you I blew just past one? it. Yeah, you blew past it. Oh. You were going through the rooms really quickly at one point, yeah. and I I was like, I think you're skipping rooms. It must be hidden. <laughs> a little bit. So good when you get that uh, so chicken leg. Good. You're like, ah, chicken leg. So good. Uh... Any hidden areas? It was. It was just before we started <laughs> skating. It wasn't playing, playing for points. For points exactly. Oh no. <laughs> exactly. That's where I got uh, rushy, rushy, and lazy, mm. right? It's like, I don't need to explore the whole floor. That's that's what happened. Yes, I was exactly. like, oh, there's the exit. I've got full health or whatever. I don't need to look at it all. Yeah. yeah. I think I think it was at one of those floors. I was like, oh, you're going through this really fast. Uh, good night, Mike. Thank you for joining. Good night, Mike. I explored? I think I did. <laughs> Dead end. Mm -hmm. I think the rest was very linear. And the beginning. Yes, yes, yes. You don't lose anything. It's not like your stamina or your life goes down if you no, backtrack. So. And jump off. And jump off. And jump off. <laughs> Uh, we're on the level of these now, huh? Ah! Oh. Oh. Just was oh, lucky. Four directions. Thank you. Full, full, full. Now we'll go up. Oh, no. nope. go down. <laughs> Got points for it. Okay. That's the exit. Oh. No. Sometimes you get one that's really fast. Come over here. Ha ha ha. Ah. Lost a little bit of health, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Come over here. Down here. done. I think so too. Uh, to the right. Am I done done? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, mini boss. I think it's after this guy. I think it's... Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, I think Nothing. it's after this guy. Nothing. Secrets, secrets, secret rooms, secret rooms, secret rooms. Go down. Go back. Go down? No. I don't know why, but for some reason I think it's after you do the first one. Because it's before because it's before you get the um Dragon. Oh, oh these are the worst. These rooms are the worst, Mick. Oh god, I just hurt myself. Uh, oh, Like, come, come, oh. impale yourself on my sword. Oh my god. <gasps> oh. Good. good. at least. Yeah. Nice easy room. Maybe I'm not. Maybe it's not this level, but it's somewhere in there. Okay, that's all explored. There it is. I knew it was on the level after the, the mini boss. Mm. There you go. Boom, boom. Now I will destroy. <laughs> nice. Destroy. Floor five. There you go. Yeah. 
You definitely got too far. <laughs> mm -hmm. Destroy. Now I can just go for levels. Oh, I hate those guys. Because I just, no more bonus garbage. You don't know that. I do. I've played this game. Have a good night, Cafe Man. Night. Thank you for watching and enjoying. Short work of these dudes. Mm -hmm. After you play this game with just the sword, this is like a relief. Oh. No. Now I have to play with just the sword. No. Where was I? Oh, he goes pitter patter of his feet. Yes, it's very cute. I like that. It's a nice touch. Oh, yeah, I have my thing back. Mm -hmm. The bonus of dying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the one bonus. And, yeah, we're mm -hmm. Oh! Mm. Cornered me. It's such a small room. has a missile and locked doors. <laughs> Every room. Like, so mean. Welcome to level two. Ugh. Ugh. Need chicken leg or mushroom. Chicken leg. Chicken leg first. Then mushroom. Oh, so many rooms. The one nice thing is when you die, you don't have to redo all the baddies. Oh, you didn't God. go to the left, I don't think. I haven't been here either. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, oh right what into the it. Hell? Right into it. I didn't, it didn't go in this room? Apparently not. Okay. Just a dead end of death. Mm hmm. Death room. There's the exit. Shoot, shoot somewhere. Shoot. Thank you. Chicken no leg. more chicken legs. Terrible. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Ugh. Oh, no. No. Why? Why? I need the big sword. You'll die very quickly. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least now. <gasps> Still have to hit him in the head. Mm -hmm. you can't shoot him that way, can no, you? No, oh. yeah, you... Oof, good job. You kind of have to draw the... Oh. You, he can't shoot diagonally, so... Yeah, that doesn't... Get you can draw him from one corner, I guess. But... Oh! Mm, yeah. Done. Done. <laughs> Done. It's good. Done. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> level, two, level two is so hard. Did you just lose life so quickly? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, we will. Yeah. No, no. I did wear this to rage reset, but this is not really a rage reset game because mm -hmm. it takes so long to get into it. Um, but I usually, I did this, wore this on purpose tonight. Because <laughs> I thought it was going to rage reset. Rage reset. <laughs> oh, amazing game. It's so good. It is so good. Level one is is fairly doable. Level two, it's a challenge. It's hard. It's yeah. a challenge. Yeah. yeah. But it's nice that you, you can kind of work your way up to more complexity and harder levels. Yeah, and he yeah, said I like that. that there's an advanced mode as well. I think they move faster. Oh. Um... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Forget that. Is, that. is that correct? Did I read that? Yes. I will take Nutella mode any day of the week. Advanced enemy speed. So nice. they move faster if you go to A. Boy. Oh, boy. Oh, and you can turn off um, repetitive sound effects mm. by switching to black and white. Is that the feet? Is that the feet? 
Wait, where's black and white in this thing? Is it the pause? Move around, please. Can you move around, please? Move what? it. Oh, around, this. Please. No, there's no black and white on it. Oh, I oh he thought you were screaming at him. Oh, no. <laughs> Move around! He's like, no, I'm I don't want to move around. I'm not gonna move around. Let's try it on the... Hey. Reset. Might need to reset. Make muse. Oh, nice! Okay, press button. Let's see the fa let's see the faster enemies. Is this on faster enemies? Yeah. Let's see how much faster they are. Oh, oh yeah. they're faster! Oh, yeah. That's... So if you want a real big challenge, level two on faster. This is, oh my god, they're really fast. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, they're so fast. Even the easy guys. Oh. Unpredictable. I can't imagine that missile thing. <laughs> oh, does that go fast oh, too? Oh, does that go faster? Because that does not sound like a good time. <laughs> ah. Okay, cool. Excellent. Lots of fun. Today, played Cave Apocalypse, mm. which was uh, a start of a game. Because it just mm. barely um, started. Oh, what is happening? Why is this on the wrong inputs? I need to switch back to... There we go. The chat. Um, yep, faster on advanced difficulty switch. Uh, Cave Apocalypse, mm. really interesting uh, what uh, mazes people come up with, what level designs. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun to play um, on the plus cart mm -hmm. and uh, navigate through different people's levels. I guess they'll have to rename them. Mm. Like you'll have to name them your name and something. They'll, they'll have to figure out something like that. Mm. And maybe automatically put them into a directory list so I can, you can just choose which one you want to play. That would be very cool. Yeah. yeah. Or an option in the map creators like, okay, I'm done my map, publish or something. And then you can name it. Yeah. yeah. And then people can just pick them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, panic Rooms. Uh, it's oh, actually great. challenging. It ramps yeah. up a lot. Like, yeah. We didn't complete it. We don't know how oh. far it goes. <laughs> no. We only got to level four and then just dead in that it one room. It was really hard. Yeah. That one room's very Really hard. good. Really. Like, I, I yeah. It's, it's a, fun. It's Little a fun game. light RPG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's sort of a theme between Deep Stone Catacomb and that game, too. Like, yeah. the walking into rooms and fighting off enemies. And yeah. I like that. Uh, best Friends. Surprisingly good. Uh, Simple and fun, yeah. Yeah, very fun. Yeah. Um, the only suggestion, I think we said that already, is to replenish that bones the bones need to come back i think well because you just go dee, 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 and you're gone did so one, maybe one there's time. some function in there i don't know but yeah, yeah that was fun. oh thanks dan yeah um and deep stone catacomb is awesome a, it's a masterpiece mm -hmm. it's just amazing mm -hmm. uh super fun on level one if you don't want to get too hard well it, it's an easy ramp up you start with level one and then yep. you, you try the harder no, levels so don't go in there and i by okay. no means won the game so there was a oh, lot yeah. more to do i know you and erlin played it i think and you a and number you, of times and we you got to the end we did get to the end eventually yeah yeah, yeah. erlin really liked it oh he did yeah. yeah yeah he likes games like that yeah um so yeah highly recommend uh panic rooms and deep stone catacomb mm. to to buy because they're available mm -hmm. for pre-order or order now i don't know he's going to switch them over soon i'm guessing once he catches a bit more up mm. um and uh yeah best friends download that type some suggestions out in the forums uh, for the developer so they can uh, help make it better. You mm -hmm. can help make it better. Um, yeah, and Cave Apocalypse. Uh, sign up if you've got a plus cart uh, with Al Nafur. Um, so, coming up, I don't think I've got anything planned, but the next episode is a 7800 show. Cool. Uh, and there's lots of 7800 games to play That's that cool. we need to catch up on. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll be playing that. Um, and, oh, yeah, there's a new game by VHZC <laughs> next episode. Oh. Uh... Slide, Slide Boy in Maze Land 7800 version. It's the one where you go do 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 and you have to get past things that are moving around and you can only hit the walls. Um, you know, it's like that cheese game. Remember that cheese game? 
where you go ding 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 your little mouse running through a maze but his is you slide around it oh yes I, and okay. there's things that move back and forth and you have to get to the exit and mm -hmm. you'll remember when you see it um and we'll I'm be playing ed tris in the 2600 high score showdown so we will be playing one 2600 game. okay i didn't want to put that and deep stone catacomb okay. in this yeah because i knew deep stone we want to play it a couple times a little bit longer yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so we'll be cool. competing for a high score in ed tris which nice. is tetris and then on the 21st we'll be debuting john shampoo's secret new homebrew <gasps> champ games I'm so excited. I am very excited I'm too. I'm so excited. I'll make a thread soon for guesses. We have our guesses. Be. We have our guesses, I think. We'll I've... show off our guesses, I think, too. After it's revealed. After it's revealed, yeah. And we'll uh, see what you guys think of it. Mm -hmm. Edris is a classic, Arena Foot says. Excellent. So I'm looking forward to playing that. Um, and then we take a little break for the spring break mm -hmm. after uh, John Shampoo's game. And then I will be uh, Halt and Catch Fire. Move it to your top of the year list. Oh, yes. If you don't agree, it's the best thing you've seen <laughs> since a perfect 14. Nice I'll eat call. a stick of gum from a 1987 pack of cards. <laughs> you don't want to do that. No. <laughs> Tastes like rot. <laughs> I've seen enough YouTube videos of people eating old things yeah. to know that old gum tastes like rot. <laughs> uh also it solidifies into a hard mass that can't be chewed so yes. uh no, what it is it double, so double bubble double bubble oh that oh it's hard? horrible it's just so hard and oh like destroys your jaw i think um after that stage ugh. is when it starts to oh it disintegrates yeah but it goes hard first yeah um halt and catch fire yes it's it's on my list uh, i know we is that a movie or is that a show it's a show it's a, a series Okay. It was. It's all about the programmers in the eighties. Oh, in the that 80s. sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it's on the list. There are many things on the list because there's lots of good shows out there. But so uh, many, so little time, so yeah. many good shows. Yes. Um, thanks for joining us today, yes. Make Muse, and thank you for making Deep Stone Catacomb. Beautiful, wonderful. Love it. Yes. Love the aesthetic. In wonderful that game. game. Yeah. Uh, RC70, mm -hmm. Arena Foot, uh, Dan EVC. I, we did talk about your book at the top of the yes, show. Yes, we did. Uh, Dan EVC, Mick, uh, or is it Mick? Yeah, Metal, Metal Lunar, Lunar, Crossbow, Cafe Man, Mike Vitoco? Soul, Vitoco, uh, Pack Rat. Pa Pack Rat. Ooh, jumped huh? in there. Pack Rat. Uh, Captain Classic. Captain Classic, yeah. Uh, RC70, I think I said that. Yes. Food. Uh, nine oh two two nine three four four six one in Halifax. In Halifax. Welcome, <laughs> strange named person. Yeah. Uh, Al Nefer, uh, a lot of the same people talking throughout the. Dr. Dr. Mukas, Mukas. Yeah. Uh, Chris Albright, Iopta, and Lopta, 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 not Iopta. It's it's just a bad font. <laughs> yeah. So we we yes. Yeah, see you on Friday, Packrat. We'll be back on Friday with some 7,800 games for all of you. Excellent. Um, so uh, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm. And the part four of... Part, the three parts have been posted on YouTube of the Atari Age Day. Mm -hmm. Part four will be posted tomorrow. It's taking a long time mm -hmm. to process them because it's, it was nine hours. It's crazy. So uh, see you on Friday. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>